The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the gayest and non-homorific person that we all know and love, Mr. JP. Yeah. And another excellent comedian. He just finished his very first special that has not come out yet. Mr. Mike Baldwin. Hi. See my shirt? To-do list, your mom is scratched out. That's uh, that's great, man. That's a Wiz shirt. Oh, nice. I yeah. like Wiz. Wiz is a good dude. Yeah, he has another good shirt. Except too. he's always fucking my mom. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> All's fair in love and Wiz. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, jeez. We you, you huh? shaved. You look fucking dumb and uh, weird. What's uh, up with that? I don't want to talk about it. I'll talk about it here in a little bit, I guess. I mean, you look good. Hey, buddy. Yeah, thanks, man. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, you look like a giant toddler. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up. I feel like at any minute now shut you're going to f- crawl up to me and ask for a popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the very first time you listen to a laughing on the sidelines podcast. This is a comedy show where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're targeted towards me most of the time. And that's fine. I don't care. This is also an adult podcast, though. So if you don't Ooh. like foul language or if you get easily offended and Cock have thin skin. Or nudity because or sometimes I pull my dick out. No, he doesn't. It's okay. This is on YouTube, so we can't get, uh, you know, fined or canceled and shit. Horse cock. Yep. Uh, but anyways, it, if you're one of those people, uh, you're in the wrong small. place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. God. All right. I was Let me giving, get through it. I was giving examples of things that you we might say. You know how many say. times those people have heard that? Uh I'm actually kind of shocked. The amount of They new don't like it when you just say the same thing over and over. It reminds them of, the, the, of the Steve person Harvey. Who's never watched before is that's like, this is valuable and, information. And the listeners are growing quite a bit. I'm actually kind of impressed. Well, I'm not surprised. It, it's probably right? my clips. I have been on the shows for a while. It probably is because of Mike. I'm going to go out there on a limb I and like say, it. you'll hey, post, you'll do you know post how many a, more gay listeners we have now? How probably many? Probably lots. Like eight? <laughs> At least 12. I was going to say tens of them. Tens yeah. of them. Them. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus I, Christ! I forgot what I was gonna just say. Uh, it okay. was stupid, anyway. Probably. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. A couple um, of our listeners wish me happy birthday. Did yesterday. they really? Yeah, man. Was got on yesterday Facebook your birthday? It was. Oh, happy birthday! That dude. sucks. You owe me some spanking. No, I don't. Mm-hmm. No, I don't. I, I don't spank. You know what? And a good friend would wish you happy birthday. But yeah, anyways, man. we're gonna move on with yeah, the show. Let's. My birthday was last Monday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mike. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome, man. No, All right. My birthday. No was other birthdays. No to other talk birthdays about. to Let's talk move about. On. We're moving on. We've got a great episode for you today, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some current events to go over. Oh, Glizzos may be involved. Oh, I love a good Glizzo. Uh huh. Uh, we have overrated or underrated. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas. A great draft. And as always, we wrap things up with a shitty situation. <laughs> Uh, but we like to start off the show. What has been happening to us over the last week or weeks? Uh, we call it our week, week recap. And we haven't seen Mr. Mike Baldwin in uh, a week and a half or so. Eh. Mike, what have you been up to, buddy? Let's see. I did see the video on your Twitter about you cutting your grandmother's grass. Oh, you, yeah. You do a fine job, sir. Thanks, man. Yeah, I, dude. I just did it again today, and I did waves in it. Oh, you did designs. <laughs> I like They're, playing around with yeah. it. Yeah. You got to have lines, though. That's the most important thing. You have to have lines. That's oh, how yeah. It, yeah. The, the tire 
has to yes. be in the previous track uh, from correct. the last go. I don't think that's the most important thing. It, what it, is the most w- important thing? To have a yard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean. That's one good thing about yeah. helping my grandma out is that I do get to I get to do the, the t- sort of things that I would do if I was a homeowner, which uh, is like plant flowers, keep the lawn looking nice. I like that. Tell stuff. kids to stay off of it. <laughs> I, dude, I really do. Hang up signs oh. that say no soliciting. Yeah. It's on the corner. So kids will ride their bikes through the yard. Oh, nice. And I got to be like, Hey, no, no more of that. <laughs> ride on the sidewalk. You jack. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, what have I done other than that? I did some comedy here and there. Yeah. I did shows that, uh, What's it called? Vorshays. Vorshays. I'm doing a show this Saturday, the 19th at Barleycorns. Uh, it's an early show at 6 p.m. with uh, Nick Allen, who's on like morning radio or yeah. something. I know Pe- Nick Allen. People know who he is. Yeah. He's a cool dude, and he's funny, and a lot of people always come, so if you want to come, then you can. Other than that, I've just been watching Suits, and I don't want to talk about it because I'm only on like late season six, maybe early dude, season seven. let me tell you about seven. Don't. <laughs> don't. He's never seen it. But he'll, he'll say something. They get new suits. I, just would like to, I, would, I would like to point out that I got Mike on I saw the preview suits. before you talked about it. But right. But yeah, I sent you a message. You did. I, I was here when last Monday. Yes. And I sent you a message like Wednesday evening, like you son of a bitch. <laughs> and, and that's I all was, I got. That's all I read. My phone only cut off that part. So yeah. I'm like, son of a bitch. What did I do? I like starting messages like that. <laughs> How dare you? That sort of thing. Just kidding, buddy. Hey, how's your day going? <laughs> but it turns out it was I've literally just watched the first season of Suits and I have done nothing all day or something. Along yeah, along. it's good. It sucks you in, man. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Some good shit. But yeah, other than that, I've done jack shit. JP? Yeah. JP, what have you been up to? Tell us about your life. I'm really, really curious. It's a sad, sad story. <laughs> <laughs> no, it can't be. You got. You have to have had uh, your bowling ball. I, don't, I get it in, on the 17th, so two more days. Two days. But I did buy the, uh, the other one. Yeah. And I last night we started monday night league yeah uh, derek and i and did so he, i did, did get suck? to throw the new one did derek suck uh no he pulled pretty good man God especially for not bowling forever he averaged like 160 okay but the first two games were 170s i mean he did really good that means nothing to me I no know. i'm just telling 300's you 300 is the best that's all right yeah, best, that's, yeah so that's like not that good to no it's pretty good for not having thrown a ball for a fucking you know the last time that he bowled Mm-mm. there was no smartphone really yeah it's been a while. Wow. So that was pre two thousand ten. That yeah, I was gonna say that's 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 Could nine probably, that's nine eleven territory. Yeah. So yeah, you know, no smartphones. Yeah. So that was he. I put it into perspective. That's a so he weird, did pretty good. That's, that's a, a weird thing to be like. No you know, last time I was bowling, I had a flip phone. It's it's got to be the way that we felt when we were kids. When we were like, you didn't have TV when you were a kid. Right. Oh yeah. And your grandma's like, nope, just we sat around listening bathroom. to the radio. Yeah. You didn't have AIM. What the fuck? Right. What was your AOL it's, username, yeah. Grandma? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No shit. Yeah. Well, that's cool. So you bowled. Yep. Not not shocked. Yep. Um. Did you go see any new movies? Tell no. us about Barbie. No, I was. I went out. Uh, you look like a Barbie fan. Well, do I you mean, have, do you have pink clothes? I mean, I don't not have pink clothes. <laughs> Valid. So hold do you on. Have, do you have an outfit that one would say like you're going to see Barbie, aren't you? Yeah. So time out. So okay. so one of the listeners of our show is is a, is somebody who I work with on a regular basis, and for what it's worth. Uh, he loves the shit out of you, JP. I, he must be a really good guy. He's he, lovable. He is. He is not gay. He's he's totally straight. You don't have you to, don't have okay. to be okay. JP. Just, no. just loves you. But yeah. I shocked him today because I told him I was just like, yeah. JP once told me that he actually was in a drag show. Oh yeah, man. I got pictures. <laughs> I used I did drag for almost two years. You're fucking kidding me. No, I man. thought it was just a one time deal for like a like a fundraiser or some no. shit. What? No. I did it for a couple years. So that's got to be the scariest drag queen I could Dude, ever imagine. No, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm I've not. seen <laughs> Mike's like nah. I've nah. seen worse in uh, there in my memory. So yeah, no. Wow. Throw a wig on JP, I'd be like, yeah, no, you're not the worst looking woman I've ever seen. It's not that. It's the voice. It's the it's the smokers like. Well, I don't deep. talk. Oh, you don't talk? 
No. Oh, that fucking... <laughs> because that would ruin it. <laughs> no shit. She must be a smoker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Man, she's really attractive, but... <laughs> Man, <laughs> that reminds me of that. You gotta movie. make sure she doesn't talk during sex, otherwise you'll lose your boner. Yeah. That reminds me of King Ralph, starring John Goodman. And uh, I don't remember anything oh God, about the whole movie either. except there's one scene where there's like a beautiful woman, and she's like, "Hello, how's it going?" She's like, she has a voice like a tuba. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the but, voice ruins the whole yeah, yeah. fucking illusion. Yeah, I told him that, and he was like, "No fucking way!" I'm like, "Yeah, absolutely." I still think Have it's I kind never of shown you pictures. I don't want to see him, JP. It'll, Why? It'll weird. It'll, 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 it'll be out, weird. Man. It's weird, man. Grow up, man. Nah, I'm gonna stay you a child. Do it. <laughs> you can stay. do it, man. Look at look at all well, of the the age that I have taken dude, off. Of seriously, me. if you were eating a popsicle right now, <laughs> I, I, would, I would be like, "Don't get it on your clothes." <laughs> it would be chocolate though, and you'd have it uh, around, yeah, your, around yeah, your lips for sure. Son of a bitch. Right. Uh, anyways, poker. I'm assuming you went yeah, and played poker. I went and played poker Saturday night at Where? stands. Uh, I I was. I want to play poker. Why didn't you go? Uh, I was you pretty go disappointed, too? man. I, I was invited. Yeah, and uh, I was disappointed when you weren't there. I know. Derek was there, and I didn't want to fucking go. So uh, that's just that. Yeah. Okay, man. Yeah, well, man. That's yeah. great and just, all, but just what it is. I was there, too. I know. I would have loved to go. Did, uh, did Jeremy go? Yeah. God damn. I, mean, yep. I would have loved to see him, too. Dan. I love Dan. Dan's, yeah. Dan's awesome. <clears throat> Dan the man? I love Dan. You know who went? What? Uh, we'll oh, to, no. Uh, it's, my, it's my grandma. Okay. Should I just answer it? Yeah, go ahead. We'll pause. A few moments later. Oh, your grandma's a sweetheart. <laughs> she sounds really nice. Yeah, she does. Does she make you cookies? Uh, no, not really. She uh, can't stand for long okay. periods as, well. as much as she could when she was... She sounds like a really nice grandma. She does. Yep. And that's awesome that you help her out. Yeah. She probably it just feels weird now knowing that other people were hearing her voice. <laughs> <laughs> what if I do, what if I put that in the show still? You should. And then you thousands of people would actually be like, "Oh, Mike's actually a pretty decent human being." Yeah, yeah. That'll help his image. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, right now everybody will. thinks he's a real prick. <laughs> no, I, no, I don't you know, know that's how. What my grandma thinks. <laughs> that's what, yeah, she just didn't say it because you told her when there's other people listening. It's like, yeah. Son of a bitch! If, you better yeah. give me a ride. <laughs> yeah, right. If, they, if you hadn't told her there were other people listening, she'd have been like, "Look here, dickweed." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both my ears hurt from being fucking dragged around. <laughs> yeah. Come over here and look at this. Is that what a lawn's supposed to look like? Absolutely. Well, what are the waves? <laughs> I didn't ask for waves. <laughs> they got to have lines, man, or else it looks weird. Uh, but no, so yeah, so you had a fun time playing poker. Yeah, obviously. man, dude, you have, it was so much fun. Stan got a new uh, Jimmy Buffett drink maker. Oh, yeah, so, I know about it, yeah. Yeah, that, holy shit, man. They were plastered. <laughs> I mean... Cool. And I still couldn't win. Like You couldn't dude, win? Dude, the one dude was just fucking grabbing handfuls of chips and throwing them on the table. Oh, he man. didn't even know what he had in his fucking hand. It's called splash in the pot. Yeah. You don't fucking do that. Dude, you don't do well, that. Well, if you're doing it, the fucking uh, Tim left like with up like 300 bucks. Jesus. It, in five minutes. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Dude, you don't crazy. do that. You don't do that. Oh, I, I hate crazy. watching people play poker in movies and stuff because they'll do shit that, like, you wouldn't do. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll, a guy will be like, uh, you know, 500,000, and the guy will go, I'll call your 500,000. And I'll raise you. And I just be like, no, you said call. Yeah. Like, you called. You can't call and, and raise. raise. Yeah. You have to say raise. Fucking cut. Yeah, man. His, it pisses me off, too, when people say words wrong in, yes. in TV shows and stuff. Uh, and I can't think of an example. But I will okay. but at some point. And it's like a, a, like a girl would be like, oh, yeah, no, I'm just using my iPhone. And I'd be like, that's not how you fucking say iPhone. You got to enunciate the I. Oh. Right? Like, uh, no, nope, that one's new on me. I you can say. tell that the actress or actor like read the word and they've never heard it before. Oh, you and mean. And there was nobody I to be see? like, no, you say it like this. Like like uh, during Ted Lasso, they, uh, the guy pronounced Anastasia, Anastasia. Do you remember that? 
That pissed me off. That made me mad. How, how do you know that that wasn't? That was a that was supposed to be funny. Was Scotty. that the character's it, name? Her name was Anastasia in the show, and he said Anastasia, yeah. and everybody else called her Anastasia. Everybody yeah, in the show. That's why it's funny. No, it, it's not funny. Well, great fucking show. You have a man. shitty sense of humor. God, it's a great fucking show. It is, isn't it? Roy, uh, Roy, I'm gonna start rewatching it. Roy again. Kent is amazing. God, I love Roy Kent. Never seen it. If you're watching and you want to share your Apple Plus password with me, <laughs> how did your uh, hit me up? How did your uh, your GoFundMe thing. Oh, no, your yeah, Venmo. You, did you did get Oh, I got uh, zero dollars. Zero dollars. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Our son listeners of a bitch. suck. That's okay. Yeah, I was kind of excited uh, when you released the episode. I was like, yeah. here, we go. here we go. It's going to come, come rolling in any minute now. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm uh, actually, things are, are getting tougher right now, dude. And like, uh, normally when I'm like, oh, I don't have any money. Like I've got, you know, savings. A buffer. And, and some credit or yeah. whatever. I, I don't have those things anymore. Yeah. Like, Welcome to my world. Right? It's, yeah. I'm like, paycheck look, the paycheck over here, buddy. I'm Comedy's looking around my tough. apartment like, all right, what's the first thing I'm going to sell when right. I have to sell stuff? Dude, yeah. there's a local comic right now that has been out of work for a while, and he started selling all his shit, and it's so sad. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I feel bad because I'm like, dude, there's no way you want to get rid of that fucking you know, guitar. I know you love that thing, but he's selling it because he has to. Mm. Yeah. And I'm like, that is rough. I've died because I've been there. Yeah. Dude, I've sold, you know, everything yeah. Oh, yeah. and fucking started over I've a, timer, sold. a timer eight. You know what I mean? I had a like a five or six hundred uh, CD collection. Oh, man. I, not the CD collection. That I, I it's accumulated. Probably you offloaded over it. it when you did. I offloaded it in chunks when yeah. I was uh, addicted to. Yeah. to drugs and stuff. Uh, and I would take them to CD Warehouse and they would give you at least a dollar. If it's an old shitty one, yeah. sometimes up to nine or ten dollars yeah. for a CD. One. This was back when people were still buying CDs, yeah. you know. So. CD where you mean CD Trade Post? I don't fucking remember. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> All right, it's, it was the CD trading place where they give you money for CDs. Sure, yeah. Slash pawn shop. Anyway, uh, was that was that uh, the rest of your week? Whoever's turn it was, <laughs> whoever sure was, was. <laughs> whatever you were saying. I also, I also good. smoked pot. I'm sure you did. I did that as well. Oh, okay. That's good. Good for you guys. That's I, what we did. I took a oh, I went to Missouri because I I ordered uh, more Ninjas Hate Crunchy Leaves T-shirts. Nice. So I, had to, I had to take a trip to Missouri, and I was like, well, while I'm here, might as well buy a bunch of weed because yeah. it's legal. That's right. Yes, sir. And then I trafficked it. So oh my god. I had. Oh, did you? <laughs> no, good. that's fine. <laughs> Uh, I was going to get it home. <laughs> so I had, a, I had a great weekend. Good. Without the wife. Yeah. Oh, I, I wanted to come man. by, man. I really did. That but door was locked yeah. as fuck. And it I sure wasn't was. So was the back here. door. Mm. Sure was. Yeah. Man, I had a great time. I, I legitimately went to bed one night. I think it was on a Saturday night. I went to bed at 830. It was great. Dude, get divorced and then you can have a great day every day. <laughs> I jokingly told her when she walked in the door, I said, damn it, do you have to come home? Can you like go out and eat dinner with those people again? Like I was just like, I mean, it's, it's, it's over. I don't want it to happen again. But it turned out I needed a lot of laundry done. So it, oh, it, it worked out. So, oh. yeah. yeah. I don't know why she stays. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. She obviously doesn't watch the show. <laughs> No, she doesn't. Thank God. Oh, but no. she's still like got her ear up to the vent right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. What you fucking the say? She's like that uh -huh. fucking cup, yeah. piece of shit. I don't know. All I can hear is wah 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 wah. Yeah, wah. I know. Uh, but no, it, it it was a really good time. I got to play video games. I got to hang out with my dogs. I got to play a lot of golf. I played excellent one day and shitty the next day. Um, that sucks. Yeah. You, you always want to have the shitty day, then the excellent day. You want to end on the high note. Yeah, you, and I didn't. Yeah. I, I done, Been there. I done That's why Sunday that. comedy shows suck. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, you're like, hell yeah, packed crowd Saturday night. I don't you do, just yeah. come back and do one more on Sunday. I don't do and Sunday shows because that's here. the Lord's day. I Yeah, good for you. I've always been told you always want to do Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If you're going to do it, that's, sure. that's the best Those way. Those are the best days. Yeah. I mean, but when you're in the position where they're like, all right, I'll here's what you. we're paying you for. <laughs> yeah, you're exactly. like, yeah, you're yeah. like, yep, Tuesday sounds great. Tuesday at noon, I'm in. I'll be here. Uh, I just need to be your guys' agents and be like, listen here, motherfucker. These guys are excellent comedians, and they only do Thursdays, 
Fridays and Saturdays. I'll tell you the same thing that I've told every other human being that's like, I could be your agent, like call bars and get one of them to give me money to go there and do comedy. And you're and my, then you're my agent. agent. <laughs> I can do it. You get ten percent. So whatever you can get them to pay, I do it for free. Mike has thirty agents. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for one of them to call. Dude, me. I just <laughs> wish one of them would do something. I was waiting for you. Mike has thirty dollars. You get well, three of that. That's yeah, about true. Well, I mean that that too. So yeah. I mean that's three bucks you can be putting in your pocket, buddy. No, you yeah. got a you know a, a grand would be a good. Yeah. I mean, because they think about if a, if a bar holds 100 people, they can charge 20 bucks a person. That's uh, like a million dollars right there. Yeah, a million bucks. That's, that's <laughs> right at it. Something. I need a math person, too. I mean, pretty close. <laughs> uh, the other thing. <laughs> no, they had ticket sales plus food and drinks and oh, stuff. Yeah, like yeah. million dollars. The point of the bar is to just give people a reason to come in there. That's right. And once they're in there, then they're spending money on That's shit. right. I don't know. They're stuck and they can't leave. Uh, but no, uh, the other thing uh, I did, uh, I saw, I, I was watching Ted Lasso. We're almost done. We're not all the way there yet. We got like three more episodes uh, to go. Um, so I'm sad. But oh, um, no. yeah, I am sad. The last couple, man, I really, I did. Don't I cried. Say. I know. I know. I hate. That's a non-spoiler spoiler right there. <laughs> yeah. Like, and that's what I hate when I, people are like, "I'm like, I, I I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go see this movie. Don't tell me anything about it." And they're like, "I'm not gonna tell you anything. Just watch the last thirty minutes real close." And I'm like, "That is a fucking. <laughs> you're telling me shit." This coming from the guy that literally walked out of a movie theater and goes, "Bruce Willis dies at the end." This was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I've matured since then. I have. I've matured because of such things. But mm. no, uh, I will say this. We do have a very, very good group of listeners and a lot of people that it, it's really cool to get messages from a lot of people all over the United States. It's really neat. We actually got invited to a fucking wedding. <laughs> Dude, let's go. Where is it at? I, I know. Uh, I I know. I believe it is in Iowa. I, I, oh, that's I only, close. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it is in Iowa. Right there. It's oh. in Iowa City, Iowa. That's it's really it's from, close. It's from a gentleman named William Morrow. I love William. I want to give you a shout out. Love you, buddy. Love you, dog. We'll but be there. If you, I, I, it, I would, lo- I would we'll love, I would love, I would love to go. Well, then let's do it. What we've are been invited. Women? We've been invited. Seven and a half hour drive. That's it's nothing. Not bad, actually. Yeah. It's not that's bad. Because I was going to say that's too far. And it's also. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Congrats, <laughs> but nope. I could. T- I think JP and myself would actually be down to go. Dude, let's go. Derek and Jeremy and Mike would be like, nah, nah I'm gonna stay. Home. Who wants to? Unless, buy it? Well, unless they want to have I'm a down comedy to go. show. I'm down to go reception. unless Derek wants to go. <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. there is no fucking way I'm spending seven, seven and a half hours, hours in, in a car. car with Derek. Oh, yeah, I'll man. go as long as we can smoke cigarettes in the car. Ah, oh, just roll down the windows, dog. We'll make it work. That's what you say now. I know. Until I tell me and JP are like <laughs> fucking hot boxing. Lighting our oh, next no. cigarette said, with our previous you cigarette. You said cigarettes. Now you say weed. That's the way that we just roll up the windows and hot box the shit out of the car. Oh, I've done that. But oh, I like to have fuck. both lit yeah. at the same time. Right, because oh. that way, in case you take a hit and blow the smoke out and somebody's driving by and sees you, they'll see the cigarette too and they'll be like, ah. Ah, that all makes yeah, sense. It all no, makes need sense. Question, no need to question this scenario. That. My brand new truck would smell like it weed would. forever yep um but so thank you we seriously and sincerely do appreciate the yeah and we're invite. coming put us down our svps jp will come we dress, are coming. dressed as a drag queen uh but i'm, I'm not the bride uh you <laughs> might be oh well you know? that's kind of where i was yeah. gonna go with it but thanks uh when we do appreciate it have a lovely wedding and hope everything's good hope she uh hope hope the bride makes it mm. he probably just wants more presents have mercy <laughs> have, if you know what when it's us we just get to sign a picture and that's an amazing oh thing. man that would be cool <laughs> i'm not signing shit <laughs> uh but no we sincerely do appreciate the way and we love it. i think this is like uh, maybe the fourth or fifth and this is the one that i actually remembered to give a shout out to so, that's okay. awesome yeah. cool hell yeah uh, and Congrats, last william yeah and last but certainly not least uh i fucked up i are you telling us about your baby face yeah. really fucked yeah. up what'd you do oops i'm now getting to the age to where i need to keep my beard kempt and nice and clean looking because gray hairs are starting to come through and i don't like them oh you'll get used to that yeah, shut up i hated it at first too so 
it i was trying to clean it up as best as possible and i got a brand new razor to do it mm. and i was thinking Oops. you know i'm just gonna kind of edge it out right uh-huh yeah i went like swiped a little too hard this, whoops and it was a brand new razor so it went you all should have the just way done the through. same thing on the other side We're and talking, nobody would have noticed your grandmother's lawn lines dude, uh-huh. just straight through that motherfucker and i'm already like welp that's done so the beard is gone at this point now we need to cut it back to see how much facial hair i can have and not look ridiculous all right so we did we went through the we went through the fu manchu not having it did you do I, the? did you do the hitler no i did not do the hitler <laughs> well then you missed an opportunity <laughs> i did not do the hitler um i did do the goatee just to kind of see it's and i'm like god i'm not fucking 50 yet i'm not there you yeah, have fit. to be 50 you to gotta have be a 50 goatee. to have a goatee that's just hmm. like a rule okay and then it it was probably the funniest thing i've ever done in my entire life but i did you figured why not i'm gonna shave the butthole too no oh. i i did the mustache only uh, oh yeah dude. i had the porn star <laughs> stash i got you a couple pictures i can show you that too you that's great kept it dude i shit you not because my like wife a- my wife was home at this point she was seeing the entire thing go down yeah. by the way so i was coming out with new faces and That's every fun. single one was just like ah no get the fuck out of here right <laughs> so but there is something about me uh i look exactly like my father if I have, have a mustache. A mustache. Yeah. My dad has had a mustache since the 70s, and that's the only facial hair he's ever had. You know, that's back in just the mustache. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And I wanted to rock the shit out of it. I liked the mustache. If anything, I wanted a picture with just me and my dad. Holy shit, it would be funnier than hell. However, I come out of the bathroom with just the mustache, and my wife shrieks and goes, Jesus Christ, shave it off. You look like your fucking dad. (laughs) And I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of cool. My dad's a good-looking guy. She's like, yeah, but you know what I'm going to (laughs) say. I don't want to see your dad naked. So I'm like, oh, that makes sense. I wouldn't mind seeing your dad naked. That's gross. Uh, But no, I do. It's fucking weird. And I ended up having to shave my entire face. And I fucking hate it. Yeah, I would grow back quickly. dude. Here's the thing. When you first start getting your grace, you're like, you You hate it. You hate it. Oh, yeah. But you know what sucks worse than getting grace? What? Shaving all the time. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, I went to a, Uh, when I lived in New York and I first started getting a bunch of grays, I went to the eyebrow threading place. I was like, I "I want you to take all the, and it was a language barrier, you know? So they're like, what? No, your eyebrow good. And I was like, no, 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 these. (laughs) Dude, it hurt. Yeah. And I sat there for a while, but it did look a lot better. I'm sure it did. But she you just know. went through and Tore. tweezed. All it looked a lot better for a week. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they come back, and they're always like fucking grown in weird yeah, directions. Yeah, little wiry. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. But first world problems, buddy. Yeah. yeah. It's like Welcome anything to else. It's like yeah. being uh, tall or short or skinny or fat or whatever. Like there's girls that are like Mm-mm, never, mm-hmm. and then there's girls that are like I don't know. I I kind of like. I it. dig that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, no matter what you do, I I had one sideburn for about a year and a half. Yeah, just because I, I, he just kept getting laid, and he was nobody, like, I think it's the sideburn. It was such a good talking point, yeah. and nobody ever noticed it until I pointed it out, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, what the <laughs> fuck." <laughs> You're like one of those people that have like one side of their car is one color and the other side is the other color. Right. And you just never know. They're like, car. officer, it was the green car. Yeah, and they're exactly. like, well, that car is red. Car's so red. Yeah. Yeah, it can't be my car. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but anyways, yep, that was that was my week. I did have a great time. My wife had a good time uh, in Dallas and she got a whole bunch of wedding stuff done. And yes, I'm very happy that she's home. I do love my wife and she loves me somehow, some way. But anyways, that is our week, week, week cra- recap, <laughs> recrap. I almost said that, and I you did say it. I'm about to take a recap. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's actually not too bad. Uh, but let's get on to the show. We've got some current events to get to. I know these guys are not huge sports guys, but yeah, but I, I love am. sports. Man. I know, I know. I How, just don't know anything about them. You don't, and you're a Broncos fan, mm-hmm. uh, which is hilarious because I saw a meme over the weekend that was. 
making fun of gay Broncos fans, and immediately it just lit my face up because I'm like, was hey, that, I know was it one that of them. Stupid fucking no, horse that guy one's that one's that old one. as yeah. shit, and it's kind of cliche to be honest with you. Yeah. No, it was a different one, but I just it just makes me giggle. But Good. um. You're a Lions fan. You have no fucking yeah, room to motherfucker. Giggle. I am. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, but no, as I wanted to kick this off with something I thought was absolutely hilarious. Uh, the San Francisco Giants broadcaster Dave Fleming was Bat Boy for a game for the San Francisco Giants. He is actually like an actual broadcaster, but he had to be a Bat Boy because he came in dead last in his fantasy football team. Okay, and that is a great and. Painless punishment. Was there like video of it? And oh yeah, everybody at the stadium oh, knew oh, what was up. I don't know if everybody at the stadium knew, but because um, I didn't get as as much of the video that I wanted. Is he young enough that he can be running around grabbing bats and shit? Or a was forty. He- Okay. Late yeah. 30s, early 40s. I'm definitely, fine with that. Definitely good. And I'm gar- I guarantee you, even if you did know what the fuck was going on, <laughs> you're like going, he shouldn't be out there doing this. Yeah, he's an older guy. Yeah, he's not a bat boy. He's Batman. Exactly. And that's kind of whenever you start realizing. <laughs> Watch out for the Joker. He's already got a helmet on. He's in his 40s. Ah, maybe. Yeah, no. Uh, but I thought that's great. That's a good well, that's punishment. Cool. I'm glad that one good thing is happening in San Francisco I right agree. Now. Uh, next one. I thought this was great. This was awesome. Uh, X Raiders wide receiver Henry Ruggs was sentenced to three to ten years for a fatal DUI. It ended up killing one person and one dog. And guess who had the audacity to comment <laughs> on this? Yeah, OJ. Really? OJ Simpson decided to make a tweet about it and uh, made the comment that you know what the math just doesn't add up to this sentence. Like he should have had more. Yeah. And, and Is it's that OJ. what he was saying? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what he said. He's just like, he basically <sighs> should. It just doesn't add up. He needs to be sentenced for longer term. Yeah. Thanks, OJ, for tuning in. Love it. Yeah, I don't know. I I feel bad for OJ. Yep. Yeah, me too. He got a rough deal. <laughs> he really did. <laughs> he he didn't even get to keep those gloves. I know. Right. They took them away. They're still out trying to find that fucking murderer. Yeah, they are crazy asshole. That's one of those things. Uh, me and my friend Austin always used to talk about. Like when you die in heaven, one of the things is you can look at any thing in history from any angle and like at any speed or whatever you know. And so you can be like, I want to see the dinosaurs or whatever. I would be like, I want to see the, the <laughs> Nicole <laughs> Brown Simpson murder. <laughs> And I want to like see what happened, you know. Oh, absolutely. But then we would always joke about like I want to see every time I tripped, like as I was walking and like lost my footing, set to music in like a montage from youngest to oldest, and that would just be a fun thing to watch. Dude, your know. heaven's gonna be a cool heaven, man. I hope I go there. I'm excited about yeah. it. Yeah. No, you can't come. But you don't get to go if you if you try to get there early. You got to just wait. No, it's yeah. It's one of my religion rules. I yeah, made yeah. it up. You made it up? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm the first one. Well, as long as we're making up religions, then yeah. JP, you could definitely go to heaven. Yeah, yep. I'm going to go to heaven, man. All right. Okay. All you have to do is believe. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I believe. <laughs> Sorry. I was going to say it, but I'm just like, go ahead, ah, man. Was, no. Uh, but, anyways, moving on uh, from OJ Simpson. Uh, moving on, uh, just breaking news: New England Patriots sign Ezekiel Elliott uh, to a one-year deal. I'm pretty sure you you called that one. Why is it only a one-year deal? Don't they because it's sign Ezekiel people? Elliott, and they know he's probably not going to be good enough to fucking keep for more than one. It's just money and, and it's age. Money, yeah. money and age. Uh, same thing happened with uh, Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook goes to the Jets, which I'm pretty sure called that one fucking right on the money too. Dude, so yeah, there's almost nothing I wouldn't do for a year for six million dollars. Yeah, right. And oh. Like I and I, it's like, hey, do you want to do the thing that is your favorite thing that you're best at? Right. We'll give you six million dollars, and it's just like, dude, I just want to do it. Like you should. It's like, do you want to swing a hammer twelve hours a day? We'll give you six million dollars. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I'll fucking do that. Absolutely, I'll do that in a heartbeat. But no, there's definitely some shit that you wouldn't want to do for ten million. I don't think so. Really? Mm, yeah. Well, I mean, like some of us don't have money. You don't want to do like, like you do. Who's the guy with the rock up? Sh- oh yeah, pushing the boulder up the. You don't want to. Do I don't want to do that. I don't want to have my liver pecked out by a bird every oh, twenty four yeah, yeah. hours. Oh yeah, yeah. The gods and shit like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sisyphus. The Greek, Greek mythology. Uh, mythology Sisyphus Sisyphus yeah 
Um, no, there's got to be something that you definitely wouldn't do. I know, I know what mine is. I, I would die of fear, and it, it's yeah, I definitely would. Of what? I, if I'm out in the middle of the ocean and I can't see underneath me, I I would absolutely die of fear. Well. I, I mean, would have you're a gonna heart die from something. Oh quick. yeah, yeah. Shark you gonna come. Want to go on a cruise? Fuck that shit. <laughs> I would. Oh, re- man. But drowning you would never would go on a cruise. Too, I, w- I would go on a cruise. I'm on a boat. I'm not. But scared. you're taking the risk that that boat will sink in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah, but that boat has Blow a bunch of head off tinier I mean, boats on it. Bad. Dude. Yeah, yeah. I would. Not but, enough for everyone. Right. The, what would suck but don't worse worry, than the band will still play? What would suck worse than treading water by yourself in the middle of the ocean? Treading water by yourself in the middle of the ocean after shooting yourself in the head with a flare gun because that's the only gun you can find <laughs> that's good shit so then you're just like kind of uh, dripping blood uh, come on sharks here you go yeah but the because of the because of the flare gun it's cauterized the wound so it's like yeah you're doing fine and the sharks are like hell yeah cooked meat fuck that it's my favorite food yeah um but uh probably the I, at least this is hit Twitter and social media, the hardest out of anything is one of my favorite football movies of all time, which is a feel good story called the blind side Not anymore. Sure. Ain't my fucking favorite video anymore at the all. He's fucking raped him for millions. Whoa. Is they that never, they never adopted him. Never That's adopted him. But what they raised him and stuff, didn't they? Or like, when so, did they get him? So he was here's, 15 or something? Here's the thing. As long as they got him. It, it's, it's like... I mean, they took him in, right? I, yeah, I have seen... Did. Okay, I have seen... I haven't listened to everything about the... Like, I want to get the facts of this, but the fact that Michael Orr, who is the person in question, has said <clears> certain <throat> things about, like, yeah, they took total advantage of me. I didn't get any of the money making about, or, uh, about the movie from the movie. It's like it's $300 million. And it's like, God damn, that really sucks. But I want, I want the details because if that is exactly what happened, is what's being portrayed, then fuck these people. He badly. said he hates that movie because it portrays him as being stupid, stupid and, and not knowing how not to play football. He's like, I, I had the knowledge, I just didn't have the advantages that I needed. Exactly. To, and I've heard that yeah. before, and I'm just like, okay, well, Cool Runnings was supposed to be about a bunch of sprinters. Oh, that's a great movie. It's an excellent oh, movie. I love that movie. But it's full of shit. And that ruined Cool Runnings for you. Still a great movie. But, but yeah, the blind side made it out to be this like loving family. And it turns out everything that at least has come out so far is that they absolutely took advantage of him and made him sign a contract to where he, like, they Even get the, the money. Even the kids made millions. Yeah, the kid. Yeah. Yeah. Sean Tui Jr. Both I of them. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking. Two of them. Oh, fuck. And Collins, that's the other one. Yeah, that's the girl. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really fucked up. So. I, I, I want to see what happens or what fuck comes you with this. Fuck you, Tui's. But uh, I don't know the story, so I'm just... And s- fuck you too, Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock, I was gonna go say, I'm, fuck yourself. I'm staying on Sandra Bullock's side until proven otherwise. I, that's totally true. We'll be on her side until... Because it's like... She's proven guilty. Dude's playing in the NFL, right? Not anymore. He retired. Okay, so, but he did for a while. Sure. And probably got $6 million at least. <laughs> <laughs> right? You're really stuck on the $6 million. I mean, so what? What's the Dude. fucking problem? You got to live in a house <laughs> with people that paid for everything. <laughs> Ah. And all you had to do was play football, and you're like, you didn't give me enough money I, I, when I, I still, lived in your house and played football. I, I think that there's a little bit of understanding that comes with it, and there's also a de- definition of being taken advantage of. And I'd like to think that the truth is somewhere in the middle of what we've been told, and so that's what I'm waiting to come out before I draw any conclusions. But what has been portrayed so far is it's not that <laughs> I will draw a conclusion without knowing anything okay. about too. anything. Fair. So that's fuck everybody except Sandra Bullock. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And uh, last but certainly not least, if we didn't conclude on this, because I got called out last week on last week's episode saying something about I am full of shit that the whole Glizzo thing didn't really happen. She is not being sued anymore. And I'm guessing of I'm guessing there's some kind of settlement that happens. Of course happens. there is. That's Fuck how yeah, that's how that, that's how that works. But as far as the descriptions have said, uh, there was definitely some uh, some inappropriate touching towards sex workers in Amsterdam by her dancers, and then um, 
uh, pressured into eating the uh, or eating a banana that was recently in a sex worker's vagina. But it wasn't peeled. I don't care. They didn't put Ooh. a peeled banana in glizzo. her vagina. And it's then a glizzo. Say, it's still a glizzo. It's still a glizzo. I love it. It's, it's like, still. It's, Man. It, the we banana peel it, is the condom of bananas. It yeah, it's still. It's still it's a glizzo. It's the condom. <laughs> So, like, you can have sex with the banana, banana peel, peel on, and then you can have sex with somebody else without the banana peel, and it's two different dicks as far <laughs> as science is concerned. Ah, yeah. And that's just know. facts. Mike's that's a scientist just facts now. right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, but, yeah, that was, that was what I wanted to end I on. I mean, if it was an apple, and then she took it out and was like, now take a bite, I'd be like, no, gross, because that's the exact... <laughs> <laughs> surface that touched the vagina but with the banana i'm like well all right as long as the peel isn't broken then this isn't that disgusting do you make the sex worker peel the banana for you though i wouldn't i wouldn't ask them to go out of their way to do <laughs> such things i'd be like i'll peel it no, you got, seem like a i got this no you're good i'm a gentleman yeah uh i don't know that just to me i compare that to the guy with the six million dollars it's like <laughs> wait so you're getting how much money to go around and get flown around the country stand in front of screaming crowds make way more money than a person should get yeah for just dancing around fat yeah and and you're bitching like <laughs> that's what pisses me off it's like <laughs> dude you could have a really shitty job making almost no money and there would still be somebody that works there that's like hey you want a banana <laughs> it was in todd's ass and they'd be like fuck you todd that's my banana from lunch <laughs> And they're like, it's like you can't sue Todd's company because it's not worth anything. But she's like, I'm suing him. I don't know. Well, it, well done, by, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know that's a that's a whole new way to look at that particular situation. You that's know what, what I saying? try to do, man. So genius, so genius. J JP, where are you at? Doesn't matter. I'm just I'm still thinking about Todd <laughs> and, and the banana, or yeah. just Todd. Yeah. Okay. Um, there were some other things that I did see. Uh, I, I wanted to talk briefly about slam ball, but I didn't know if you guys knew what that was. Kind of. Uh, is that trampoline is the, is that basketball? The trampoline yes! Yeah. 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 I, that's just leading to an accident. Right. <laughs> Dude, you got to be I, really young and the really whole game, in shape. I'm, I'm just going. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Oh man! Because I've I had a trampoline when I was a kid. Well, I, that's a lie. I apologize. I take it back. My next door <laughs> neighbor had a trampoline, and yep. we would go over every day and do so many injuries, so oh, yeah. many like twenty feet up in the air and then just land on the metal bar. Oh yeah, it was the it was the double bounce. You know, you oh, had yeah. to have people yeah. ju like jumping, and you had to time it just yeah. right. We weren't allowed to do that after a while. Yeah, but if your parents weren't looking, you Mark's tried. Dad was like, "No more goddamn <laughs> double bouncing." <laughs> And my, my arms like dislocated. And I'm like, Come <laughs> on, we're having fun. Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, it, it's I guess going into the playoffs. Like they made it through the season, paid everybody decently <sighs> enough, and now they have that. So yeah, check out Slam Ball. I, mm. I kind of dig it. I'm gonna watch tennis, baseball. That's the other one. I saw videos I'd that you watch that you're then. Tennis, baseball is a great idea. I think. I think uh, that's something that that JP would love to tennis play. rackets and gloves. Yeah, perfect. And yeah. and the rest is just real baseball. Yeah, bowling was, is as physical as I get. <laughs> dude, I, a night of bowling will fucking as people a, in wheelchairs can bowl, JP. But I know I'm, there was one shape, on Monday night. Still, there was a kid that came in and they had a little ramp that they had to put. Yeah, up they so put it up on the ramp up yeah. there, and no, like the, so the wheelchair could come up on the lane. Yeah. At a little ramp. I have my cousin Bowles, and yeah. she has um, ah, she has an extreme case of like cerebral palsy. Yeah, and she bowls. Cool. It's pretty neat. Uh, but just so you know, that's uh, that's the athletic ability of yeah, what you got. Right. So, I don't disagree with you, man. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, that is the current events for this week. Uh, now we get to move on to the fun part of the show that everybody really cares about, and that is we're going to kick this thing off with overrated or underrated. Yeah, overrated. Way overrated. Random applause. Random applause. Yeah. Underrated. underrated. See, then shut the fuck up. I was I was rating overrated or underrated, oh, and so I was saying it's overrated. overrated. It's Just the whole segment. Uh -huh. I disagree. All right. Uh, first one for overrated and underrated is overrated or underrated soulmates. 
way, way overrated because there is no such thing. No such thing as soulmates. No, I thought there was, but nope. Turns out it's full of shit. Turns out love is fucking bullshit. Damn. Yep. I didn't want to be the one to tell you. I, I am torn because I can agree with that. I've definitely been in love and then been like, oh, wait, no, I was wrong. You're the fucking worst thing that's You're ever happened devil. to me in my entire life. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like in this, in this day and age, when my grandparents were kids, you got married and you agreed that all right, rest of our right. life, nothing stopping this. And now it's like, eh, you know, he made me mad one day, so now fuck him. I'm taking half of everything. Like it's see, but it's okay. not a commitment as much as it used to be. So I don't right. think I've it, been in love, or what I thought was love, and I've been with somebody for a long, long time. Like we were together for a very long time. That like how many months? <laughs> like almost 12 years do the baby thing no you gotta do the baby thing do the math times 12 bullshit how many 144. months 144 oh, there you go 12 yeah, yeah 12 times 12. 144 so anyway, 144 months it doesn't sound very much but that's okay i got over that mm -hmm. but then i met someone and i really did fall in love and I, we have been apart for five years and i love i love them more now than i did when we were together like yeah. and it's sick it's it's really horrible yeah. so if i can feel that way but he doesn't then fuck soulmates dude because there's no such thing because if he was if, if there was a soulmate mm -hmm. he would have this that that fucking man dude i'm telling you i it's crazy well you got to be mutual soulmates yeah there's no such thing oh man but every once in a while there but is there's not see and i feel like this is a good spot for me to come in being the one person you know that's married and all that shit you're the one that just wants his wife to go and, away <laughs> and i and, and that's the thing like we've been me and my wife have been together for 14 years we're coming up actually shit what's today dude if it's your anniversary oh, i'm like, out oh, of God, here i gotta go like, to the store nah, i'm just kidding we got another month i think um but anyways <laughs> uh but no like somebody that's been with my i've been with my wife for 13 years and oh, i man, i awesome. just had a weekend without her at all and it was devastating. No, it was and great. So he happy to look, have her dude. back. I, yeah, no. I legit dude, she's watching the show. Shut <laughs> the fuck up, dude. I legitimately had a great time, but I also need a lot of alone time. That's my thing. But she understands that though. So she knows there's a give and take with relationships. And I really, really think that they're overrated because they don't exist <laughs> it's a fucking clean sweep all no, right challenge a good, accepted a good relationship takes a lot of work no matter how easy or hard it is and you both just have to be committed and i joke a lot about my wife and all of us sitting down here know the real story that my wife is probably one of the coolest fucking people on the face of the planet. It's true. Puts I, up with I my shit. How. I thought that at first, but now that you're saying yeah, all these, all things, these about things about her, I don't like her. And, for, and, and she does great laundry. But I think she actually is one of the best people on the face of the planet. Does anybody do bad laundry? <laughs> Because I would take them at this point. God. Even if you do bad laundry, you can fuck me. Yeah. I Come had on a, over. I, I got had an plenty ex, to do. I had an ex-girlfriend that wouldn't fold my shit right and put it in my drawer right. So I had to find a new one. There you go. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? The metric system. Way underrated. Really? Yeah. Way <laughs> underrated. Fuck you, dog. Yeah. The, re the, the rest of the world would disagree. Uh, my <laughs> like Everywhere God. in the world uses the metric system except for us. You yeah. know what? You because we had to make up our own shit. Okay. I'm, I like it. Yeah. I, I, I do too. I like not using the metric system. And I like uh, that I still kind of know it, you know? Yeah. Or I mean, I, I don't, I can't do the. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Yeah, not like today's America though, but 
when America was really America. Where That's the land what, was like 1776? Yeah, like right before the Emancipation Proclamation. Oh, That's your America. I, I, dude, what, what name a country that's freer than America? Oh, don't get yeah, it. Don't yeah. There isn't one. Okay, here he goes. Okay, no, absolutely not. Not going to have this argument. However. Are you making a list? What does that say? Sweden. Say Sweden. 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 <laughs> no, come on now. Anyways. Name another one. No, I will say this. Sweden's I, freer than America. What will you say, Scotty? Shh, no conversation about this particular subject. Africa. Af- <laughs> Whoa, dog, no. It's freer. That's one hell of a country, too, by the way. It is. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful country. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, you win. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Anyways. That's all I needed to hear. Uh, no, I think the, the metric system is is overrated because, dude, it's fucking America, dog. We have our own yep. way of doing shit. We don't and need your stupid metric nobody system. Nobody else understands it. The thing is, is it's kickback because of uh, because we have the imperial system. Yeah. We're the dark side, motherfuckers. But they have the... They they have the metric system and it's a probably a lot easier but when you come to america it's got to be tough because you got to be but cool. it's, it's not easier for us because we know this yeah, yeah that's that's like, exactly yeah. it's like you know more people on earth speak chinese than any other language that would be the thing that you should learn and i'm like but i already know this whole other language so, i don't want to learn the more popular thing just because yeah you're telling me more people do it i have been told this and i don't know if this is 100 percent true it How, is however however with the metric system you can legitimately tell people that use it on a regular basis and say this is you know something that's 100 meters long and Americans, if we're told that, we don't grasp how far that is. But if we are told it's that's the size of a fucking football, football field, field. Yep. we go, oh, oh okay. that makes yards. 100% yeah. sense. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm sure everywhere does that, though. They're like, oh, it's, it's the height of a palm tree yeah. or it's the, you know, the the width of a cactus. That's exactly right. And I, li- I, I kind of dig. <laughs> Just, I mean, I'll meet you in a, a 1,800 cactus length. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What? So How yeah. many meters is that? I don't fucking know. Uh, but yeah, I think this okay. is. I think the metric system's overrated. Yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Personalized ringtones. What are we in? Two thousand thirteen. I was going to say 19. I have this a personalized is, is ringtone 99. for my grandma. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. This is a nostalgic thing for back whenever we were in high school and college and all that it's other shit. Nostal- but, yeah. but people still do it today with do it certain myself. people. There I go. need to know whether I need to rush to the phone or not. And if it's just regular ringing, then I'm like, all right, that's anybody other than my grandma. Yeah, and when my grandma calls, I'm like, all right, it's my fucking grandma. She either is going to just ask me something random or just be like, how's your day? Or she's going to be like, I need help immediately. <laughs> but so you, I need to. But you also have an iPhone watch. Yeah. That also is caller ID. Yeah. Why the fuck do you need a ringtone? Because what if I'm not wearing my watch? Oh, okay. Fancy. Or if I'm just sound asleep and my watch is buzzing, mm. why do I need to open my eyes if it's just some bullshit? This was like the coolest thing in the fucking world whenever I was in high school. Like if you had, I mean, if you wanted a, like a specific ringtone for your flip phone that we used to have, like you had to pay six bucks for that shit. Yeah. Right? I saw that. Have you seen that? Uh, it's a video, but it's like the graph, an ever-changing graph that shows like how much different music formats made over the years. Sure. So it starts with like records, and then as time goes on, then records sort of goes down, and cassettes comes up. Oh, and, yeah. And then cassettes just drops off a cliff, and CDs, CDs jump in. Yeah. But then in the middle of all that, or uh, after that, was ringtones for a while because that's where all the music yeah. was being sold there for a while and then it went to iTunes and now it went to like streaming or whatever. Oh yeah, and MP3s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but I mean, it was the coolest thing in the world to have like that fucking Creed ringtone whenever your phone started ringing <laughs> <laughs> or Metallica or some shit. Uh, I personally had Tech 9. That was my thing. All of my ringtones are just my voice saying what the thing is. Hey, grandma. It's your grandma. grandma. Answer the fucking grandma. phone. Grandma. Yeah. Now, if grandma. It, if, if it's a phone call, then it just says, your phone is ringing. Your <laughs> phone is ringing. <laughs> and if I get a text, then it's just me going, text message. <laughs> so, I yeah. don't know. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I think it's overrated. I fucking hate ringtones. I put my phone on silent all the time. And if I miss a call... I, I get to say I turned my phone off. And if you're not that important, I don't have to call you back. 
JP? You're watching. Overrated. You know who he's talking about. Overrated? Yeah. Do you have your phone on silent, too? Yeah. You know, I never hear it ring. Yeah, you never answer my phone call either, dick. Yeah, well, because I'm fucking busy. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't I'm answer doing, a phone call. I'm dude, doing have shit. Have you not heard my week, week recaps? <laughs> uh, I'm a busy man. Shooting guns and shit. Yeah, man. I don't got time for your fucking phone call every five seconds. I know. And uh, next one, overrated or underrated, parkour. Overrated. What? It's stupid. Come on, man. I don't, uh, why are you jumping around and shit? I think this could be both. <laughs> Walk on the sidewalk like a human being. <laughs> why are you jumping around and shit? I don't There's need no that. There's no reason for all that. Uh-uh. If you want to do an obstacle course or whatever, then go to one or build one or whatever. <laughs> don't make my environment your obstacle course. Yeah. Quit being fucking weird. Yeah, this is overrated. These people are fucking weird. I, I don't understand. I, I mean, like, they're trying to get from A to B in the most creative way possible. That's what I have been told. That's that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. And I'm just like, why don't you just it's like if, if go I'm, there? If I'm standing in line at the bank and a dude's next to me doing backflips, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? <laughs> this is not where we do this. Like, imagine if you're waiting in line at a baseball game, trying to get into the bathroom and the line's all the way out, and some fucker's doing backflips every three feet. Like, come on, dog. What I lived, are you doing? When I lived in New York for a while, people would get onto the subway and they would do, like, gymnastic shit on the, on oh, the handrails yeah. and yeah. stuff. Oh, and, yeah. And sometimes it was just like, that guy's going to hurt himself. And other times it was like, wow, this is like fucking Cirque du Soleil shit. Yeah. Like, this guy should be a professional, whatever the fuck this is. A lot of practice. But, Whatever At the same time, the it's like, is. <laughs> right? It's like you've been doing this for a long time, huh? <laughs> it takes a lot of a lot of guts what they're doing. Uh, but yeah, this is overrated. No, I think it's stupid. The only time it's underrated is at the beginning of one of the one of the Office episodes. Yep, then I was it, gonna say it was my favorite cold open. That is parkour, 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 parkour. parkour. <laughs> he jumps off the <laughs> roof the into the box. box. <laughs> oh, and it's Andy, which makes uh, it even better. So love that shit. All right, and last but not least, overrated or underrated, receiving a blowjob from an 80-year-old with no teeth. Uh, you guys. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's got to be overrated because <laughs> gross. Unless you're 82. Uh, right? right, and then you're like, I like, like, I I like, like younger it. chicks. Yeah, I like younger chicks. If you're not 75, don't come talk to me. So we got to clarify something because uh, I didn't even think about – Putting it, I mean, 80. 80 year old woman. Are, are they alive or dead? Oh. <laughs> You're not really receiving anything oh. from them if they're dead. You're just forcing oh, yourself. Right. Well, I really have enjoyed being on the show, but uh, I have. Something tells me I should go now. This is ridiculous. <laughs> no, my, I can't. Yeah, if they're alive, I don't want any part of it. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I won't even, because I have the relationship that I now have with my girl. Uh, that's why I put the question I'm the around show. all the time. Uh, no, no I, now I'm I won't even, about, She's got friends. Uh, I won't yeah, even no. click on, on videos that have the word grandma in them. <laughs> Smart. And I would before. And I would like, before, right, yeah. Let's I just used to really enjoy grandma about. porn, but uh, not anymore. Uh, I mean, you know, you can be 30. Yeah, and grandmas have, are have young nowadays. Gra grandmas are young nowadays, man. So, Alrighty. so I think uh, I I think this is probably a little bit overrated. I say overrated. It's too. got it's got to be overrated. Okay. I just I think it's just inappropriate. <laughs> now you give me a thirty year old with no teeth, and I'm fucking it. That's underrated. That's what we call a meth head. Yeah. Oh <sighs> uh, shit. But anyways, guys, that is overrated or underrated. If you have any suggestions for any of these segments, you can send them to us. At I got laughing. a suggestion. What? How about we do a new segment? Uh, well, we're kind of gonna. Can't wait. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, that's where I draw the line. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Anyways. Segway. If you have any sub or if you have any suggestions for any of these se uh, segments, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or at LOT Sidelines on Twitter slash X. What the fuck is going on with that, man? What about it? Is it X? It's no, X. it's the platform formerly known as Twitter. I, I like how it says X whenever I get a message, but then it has they're in parentheses, yeah. it says Twitter. And yeah. I'm like, what the fuck's the point then? They're dude? still working out the yeah, kinks. Yeah, they're working out the kinks, man. It's still the place to go for news, dude. True. For live news. Uh huh. Yeah. There's been a lot of news the last few days. Yeah. yeah. I've had my shit has been going nuts. Fucking Hawaii. Yeah, dude. Insane, man. Do you think we did that? 
I say we. Do you think? Do you think that? It, Here's what I think. We didn't start the fire. <laughs> we <laughs> didn't start the fire. <laughs> it was always burning when the world it's, was turning. I, mean, yeah. I read somewhere that they were having like 70, 80 mile an hour winds the night before, and a bunch of power lines fell, like hot power or like you know yeah. ele- electrified lines. Yeah. And, and that started a bunch of fires, but who knows? Yeah, it could have know. been a directed energy weapon. Yeah, exactly. Should lasers from outer space could have done that? Hmm. Uh, but anyways, yeah. no, I, I think it's uh, kind of ridiculous though that we've sent like a hundred billion dollars or something to Ukraine, and Shh. and Joe Biden's like, I'm giving seven hundred dollars a piece to every person that lives in Hawaii. <laughs> and they're like, Thanks. <laughs> Let me just rebuild my I whole got life. More during this COVID. <laughs> I got more during COVID. Yeah. All right, that's enough. Okay, now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line. That's what I said earlier. I know, I but trying I, to move it along. I know you did a good job. I, sh- I should shut up and you should run the show. <sighs> uh, anyways, that's where I draw the line. We have some scenarios that I'm going to ask these guys and we get to figure out where it's a little too much. All right. All right. So first one, where do you draw the line? Where do you draw the line of the size of person that you will sleep with? Uh, well, for me, it's going to be have something to do with their weight. For JP, I assume it would be like <laughs> 14 inches, 19 inches, Jesus something ridiculous. Christ. JP's like that? like, that was a gay a thing lot. I threw in there. JP's yeah, like, I like that, but Mr. Fister over yeah. here. Um, 14's a lot. <laughs> yeah. A lot. That's and like, then 19 is fucking almost unfathomable. <laughs> oh That's God. like four of my dicks. Right. Yeah. Holy shit. Four. I thought I was wow. doing good at twelve, I'm but no. Uh, you going with fourteen and nineteen. S- uh, what's the exact question? Where do you draw the, the size, line? Size, size of the immediately person. Immediately, I think like, where's the limit of how fat she is? Right. It's but not. There's also a skinny limit there's a, there's, as well. There's a skinny. There's a tall. There's a big. There's a, there's a wide. There's a everything. Like what is where you kind of? So we're go, drawing a box. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're making. All of a sudden, a, we're making a cube. We're making a three dimensional mm-hmm. person. I okay. used to joke about this, but I wasn't kidding. And I was <laughs> like, I'm just looking for a girl that's somewhere between like four foot. And like <laughs> six four. Well, there you like, go. As long as you're between that, anything on the other side of that might be a little weird. But no, I mean, like, I don't four foot. People say, like, what do you like, blondes <laughs> or brunettes or whatever? And I'm like, I like a girl that's attractive to me when I look at it. Sure. And yeah. that, and I can't just check boxes and be like, well, she has to have this color, this, and she has to be this height. Like, I don't know. I've hooked up with a fat girl before and. I wasn't like Dude, gross, fat I girls, up, but fat I've also girls. seen f- f- gross. I've seen skinny girls, and I'm like, I yeah, feel right. like you pr- stink. I feel like you're <laughs> what? Like you don't wipe. Like you stop wiping your butt before she you probably, should. She probably wipes fucking back to front. <laughs> I I wipe back to front. Yeah, but you don't have a <laughs> vagina, don't have a vagina. To like oh, scoop yeah, good call, poo yeah. into. That's you true. just get it on the bottom of your balls. Didn't even think about that. Which is also not great. No, it's not. <laughs> if I'm going to get shit on my balls, it's not going to be from wiping. <laughs> 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 oh, that's it gross. was a long way, but uh, I got there. I'm yeah. sure you did. Uh, I think I think this is a very easy question for me. I'm I, I'm with you, but I I. I I, the shortness doesn't really bother me as long as obviously they're over the age of 25, but and white. I uh, didn't say that either. No, um, but I, I there is definitely a level to where I, if I think that she is going to manhandle the fuck out of me, yeah, I can't. No, I can't do mm. that shit. No, absolutely. I, that's one of my check marks. Yes, is, can I physically defeat this person if I have to? <laughs> if I have to. Because see, as a gay man, it's the opposite. <laughs> I'm sure. Right? You're like, can this You're guy, like, can this like, guy dominate? If I'm me? trying my absolute hardest, hardest. Can <laughs> he hold me down long enough to put his dick in me? I, I was then. Very, I'll yeah. I was probably 14 years old, and I was really interested in this girl. She was very, very attractive. I was still pretty short, and she was about the same size, but she was. She was hot, but she was thicker. She was like built. I was and still pretty short. Really? <laughs> you weren't really tall, was, and then then you shrank. I was the same size <laughs> okay. as I am now. Right. Uh, but anyway, no. She was just she rode like uh, she rode bron- Broncos for a while, and oh. I was like, oh my god, she is gorgeous. So her thighs was, were 
chat. Thunder no, thong. no, what not is even that? Uh, not, I, callous. I said she had four, callous I said vibes. Fourteen. I, hold on. So we go to the lake one time, and we were just kind of messing around out in the in the lake, just like wrestling. And then she threw a saddle on you. No, motherfucker. She. <laughs> you had she, lake sex. It was bareback. She. No, <laughs> no. She no made, saddle. She made me feel like I was a fucking rag doll, and just threw me around like I weighed nothing, wow. was nothing. And I'm like, yeah, this ain't gonna work out. Hmm, that's <laughs> so, weird. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> sure, that's you, crazy. Yeah. She, you should text her. She's probably that. Not, she's not her. that skinny anymore, I bet. I'm just guessing. Mm. But anyways, all right. Next one. Where do you draw the line on how much makeup is too much makeup? If it gets on me. If it gets on me or my pillow, you're wearing too much. Okay. That's fair. That's that's fair, um, you know, measuring tool. Plus, I don't. I like the idea of I want a girl that is still beautiful to me when she gets out of the shower. Uh, well, mm-hmm. you're, you're never going to find a girl. I've, never found, find I've a met girl. plenty of girls like that in my life that I just find naturally beautiful. Mm. Yeah. And, but no, like That's weird. if I can tell that you're wearing makeup, you've got too much makeup on. Yeah. That was my answer. Was that if right? I can tell, if I can tell that you've spent more than 10 minutes putting on your makeup. Yeah. It's too much. I wow! I'm shocked. We all agree. Yeah. Yeah. I da- I dated a girl for a for a very long time, and the thing that drove me the most nuts she was uh, she was Indian, and uh, she put makeup on her lips, like yeah. not not like lipstick, mm. but like the natural color blush bullshit. Mm. She put it on her lips, and so if I kissed her, I could taste it like, bleh, and I'm yeah, that's better than curry. Bow. Oh yeah, that ain't no shit. Uh, she was Sri Lankan. I like curry. Yeah, curry. I, knew you were gonna say that. I do. I love you, man. Thank you for being <laughs> no. there for me. I knew you were gonna say that. Oh, curry's disgusting. Oh, uh, you look like a guy that would like curry. Uh, I went. To, I've been to Indian buffet a few yeah. times. Passes to India. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. You're you're. That's the second time that you're like, uh, what's the title of the place? And I'm like, that's not the point of the story. I, I, I left there and did not make it home. I had to pull over onto yeah. the side of the road so I didn't shit in my truck. Mm, you pulled over good. and shit on, <laughs> on the side of the road. Yeah. Really? Better yeah. than in the truck. On the way home. I couldn't shit in my truck. Hmm. Um, uh. We've already talked about spare underwear and farts that you can't trust with me. This is what happens. Uh, all right. Next one. Where do you draw the line? What would you consider is too high of a body count? I am so scared of your fucking answer right now. <laughs> I am terrified. Mine would be in the in the. This is a oh. in the tens. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna say oh. above above fifty. I would be like B. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I like, mean, my number is is high, but I'm a I'm a piece of shit guy. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I'm not looking. Wow. To date a, the female version of me, you, I want to meet the girl that's like I've only had sex with 10 like. I said tens, tens with an S, so like Whoa. 30, 40, 50, 60. It's definitely not. It's below a hundred is my cap. Hmm. But that, it's the same with anything else. Like okay. if I met the girl that I really liked, and she's like, oh, "I fucked five hundred dudes, but no more. You're the <laughs> only one for me." Then I'd be like, "All right, well." <laughs> Then let's scrap that rule that I made because I'm still oh. in, you know? Okay. But in general, I would say if a girl said the number above 50, I would just be like, huh, <laughs> okie doke. Above well, 50 is actually pretty liberal, I think. I think that's pretty – I thought you'd be lower than that. Well, I, like I said, I would like to meet a girl that's like, oh, my God. This You're is my what, first. This is what <laughs> yeah. a dick looks like? Yeah, that's amazing. Right. <laughs> Probably at your age, that's hard to do. It is. Yep. Yeah. Or she's really young, so that'd be a bad thing. Yeah. All know. right, Scotty, what's your line? Oh, oh man, I know I'm going to exceed this one. I well, I, I have okay. Well, here's my deal. I have a pretty low number in my personal opinion because I, I mean, your prime is from the age of 18 to uh, for me, 19. no, from the age of 18 <laughs> to 25. And I was always really loyal. I was always a person that was always in a relationship with somebody because I felt like if I was sleeping with somebody, then I was exclusive with that person. I was never the guy that slept around with a whole bunch of people <clears throat> unless I just recently got out of a relationship and needed breakup sex with some perfectly round stranger. Okay. And so I did that a couple of times, which increased my numbers, but um, I I like a low body count. Okay, I, what's your line? Oh, Where do you draw it? 
I know where my mine where is and line? where my wife's is, and so I'm gonna go with fifteen. Is I've done that in one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's weird, dog. Okay, wow. no, Fif- fifteen. Okay, for me in my situation with my wife. Wow. If for any reason, and there are lots of them, where she decides to leave me. Hmm. then I have to adjust for the age that I'm at and the age of the people that I am dating. Okay. So that comes into play as well. Hmm. So, yeah. All hmm. right. What's your... What's your... What, is there even a number? Is there a number that you draw the could line? A, could a man come to you and be like, I've had sex it's with 5,000 okay. Here's men. where I draw the line. If Magic <laughs> Johnson came up to me tomorrow <laughs> and it was like, look... You want to fuck? I'd be like, nah, you've probably fucked two or three more people than I care to. Uh, yeah. So somewhere right under Magic Johnson's number is where I draw my line. I was getting ready to say the body. It's such a bad joke, but I'm totally kidding. But it's where do you draw the line, JP? And that is AIDS. Do they have AIDS or do they well, not have even AIDS? Even that, I mean. They have a way that you can live through it now. So well, I think it's good. I think there was always that way. I think. Anthony Fauci just, <laughs> just kind of kept it murdered a kept bunch it of people. Down. No and, politics. Yeah, that's right. Uh, next one. What is the maximum number of piercings a normal person should have? Uh, this one's this one's kind of weird for me. Can I go ahead and spill the yeah, beans? Yeah, yeah. Okay, piercings with me, totally. I mean, you legitimately have to look like a fucking, like, ornament of some kind you look like you have to look like an event from american gladiators to have that many rings on you to where you just make me uncomfortable okay piercings don't bother me at all yeah i don't like when they're connected that's okay that's connecting piercings that's good like i've i've seen the girl with the nose thing that goes to her ears so yeah. it's just like a chain that was a very 90s thing yeah, yeah i don't like it yeah I don't either. But for uh, no, I mean, because it just depends where. I don't want like. like uh, how about hoo ha? I don't like a nipple piercing hoo-ha. because it. I don't. And the yeah. same with the hoo ha because it's metal. You know, it fucking. Yeah. I don't want to chip my tooth. I want to feel I'm, I'm, s- human skin. I've never been with somebody with their hoo ha pierced. I have. I, I have my wiener pierced for a while. I know you oh, told we me talked that, about yeah, it. Yeah, I just want to talk about my wiener. Shot, shot, it shocked the shit out of me. Um, no, I, I think you got you got some good points. Nipple piercings don't don't irritate me or anything. The septum piercing looks weird as fuck. What's like, that? The nose. That's the thing? nose where uh-huh. you look like a fucking bull. And most people that actually have that particular piece or piercing actually look like a fucking bull. Um, but yeah, how about you, JP? What's how many piercings is too many piercings? Then my. <laughs> How about, is there a location so of said 5,000 people and I've yeah. pierced every square inch of my body? JP's I mean, like, hey, I'm JP. Fun. Good to meet you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Come you know what? I, 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 I dig piercings, but I really think, I really dig tattoos. Yeah, tattoos. Like, you hard. could be tatted up from head to toe, and that's that's what I'm looking for. They've, they've but definitely. But piercings, I would say six. Okay. Piercings? More than six. More than six is a little too much? Yeah. See, and I, I kind of just now thought of this. Two nipples. Yeah. Two ears. Two ears. A oh, nose yeah. and a tongue. Girls got to have more than a couple it's earrings. A, the same with the ears, though, too. Like, I, I oh, don't sh- like, I like to, oh, yeah. I like to kiss and suck yeah. on an ear. You know what I, I don't, don't like? I don't have fucking clank you know what clank I don't like, on my man? teeth. You're Those things. You know oh, what I mean? yeah. Oh, the big, big huge gauges yeah, and gauge. shit. My, oh, ex, the, my ex had gauges, but they were pretty small. Yeah. If they if they look like you but can fit when they're your, huge. Yeah. yeah. Then if you can fit your fist through them, that's yeah. a little extravagant. I, so but, I would like to have a girl, though, take her big gauge thing out and be like, put stick it in my ear hole. <laughs> what I'd be a, like, all right. I was just, I was kind of going, I was like, you know what, what was really nice? Is if they're big enough that I can put my feet through them? <laughs> Jeez, that's gross. Because then I wouldn't have to hold my own legs. Oh, that's you know, they just, would, That's weird. That's yeah. weird, dog. That seems like weird art. Yeah. Somebody draw <laughs> that. Somebody draw that, please, and send it to Scotty. Draw, draw me draw. with big, huge and ears. And fucking me holds. with with my. And yeah. I'm on top, and a girl's laying on yeah. her back with her legs up, and both yeah. of her feet are in <laughs> my yeah. ear holes. I think that's hot. 
I think I, I will conclude this particular subject with, I think the limit needs to be Julius Caesar. He got stabbed 23 times and died, but maybe if it was only 22, he might have lived. Okay, so, cool. I see what you did there. Yeah, I see what I did? Kinda, yeah. A little bit of history, a little bit of sports. outside the box. I did. I thunk, that, uh, I thunk about that. Mm. All right, and last but not least, where do you draw the line? If there were no speed limit laws, what is the highest speed you would set your cruise control on the highway? 55. <laughs> not a fucking animal oh. Boo! i just want good gas mileage dude i'm thinking like uh 80 or 90 yeah anything over it, it gets pretty crazy i mean when you're doing over 80 or 90 there's a big potential for you to add you know just fucking roll that motherfucker you, yeah i drove we went to chicago to try out for last comic standing back in the day and we there were like nine of us and we rented a van and uh were any of you the last comic standing nikki glazer got pretty close yes she did uh but no none of us were uh you but she wasn't there with you she went with she us went yeah. with you? She, she was, was part the of the deal yeah. she and was we in the were, van we were in a oh, hurry on the way home ass. and i drove a hundred miles an hour in this van filled with, <laughs> with 10 people including me like the entire way home yeah and we made really good time oh, yeah. coming home from chicago oh yeah, yeah so i know if there were no laws i know because i've <laughs> i've seen me do it um, the most boring drive in the entire world is going from the panhandle of Oklahoma through New Mexico. There is a two lane highway where nobody, oh. literally nobody is on. And the speed limit is 55 miles an hour. I set my cruise control at 115 in an F-150. Wow. Yeah. And I wasn't the least bit nervous. Um, no but <clears throat> but it, within reason, I think if it were like every single day setting your cruise control and shit and like that. I, I think I'm with JP. I think 80 to 90. Yeah. I don't think you're, especially if they're highway design, you know, oh, road, sure. you're, good. you're fine. Yeah. yeah. You're fine. I so agree. 80 to 90. See, we're not that crazy. Um, we're that different. You and I, yeah, we're not that different. <laughs> you and I dog. We are way fucking different, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Well, that is, that's where I draw the line again. Any suggestions, send them to us. Now we get to get to, um, you this know, is my favorite one. This is questions in Pergunta. It. It's everybody's favorite. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you have any suggestions for these questions, send them to us. We would appreciate it. First one, odd ways to start a conversation with a total stranger. You want to go first? Or you want me to? Go ahead. It just reminds me of the old Louis C.K. joke where he's like, I like to start conversations with strangers, but I like to just start them in the middle. <laughs> He's like, try it. Just walk up to somebody and go, yeah, well, how do you think I felt? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing I yeah. thought when I read I that like question. That. So give it up. Uh, Louis C.K., you yeah. probably never heard of him. He's a comedian. He's, He's funny. Okay. Yeah. Look him up. God, and he was, oh, man. Was, still is. No, he was, no, he was so, he was treated so unfairly. Oh, that. That, that is such bullshit. All he wanted to do is the, for have, have them watch. I mean, I don't think that's too bad. Uh, that's not bad no. at all. Well, it was in the time of, like. Me too. Yes. Yeah. You can't, Fuck you can't, can't make anybody, make anybody feel watch uncomfortable. watch jerk off. Mm. Even if you ask politely. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, even though they said yes, they, they didn't yeah. want to. Oh. Yeah. You could tell by the way they started crying halfway through. But Lizzo can make you eat a glizzo and yeah, not get in trouble or canceled for that matter. Oh, she actually got uh, taken yeah, off I of the that. option yeah. for the Super Bowl. Right. <laughs> what a cunt. Anyways. Okay. Um, uh, anyways, I think uh, odd ways to con start a conversation. I think this would actually be fun to just go up to random strangers and start with conspiracy theories that you think may or may not be true. I know a it's guy like, that like, I know a homeless hey. guy that lives over at Harry and Seneca, and uh, <laughs> he just comes out. Dude, he used hey. to come into he used to come into the store and he would get an application, and then he would bring it in and it would just have like, f dude, crazy from like from the top to the bottom five pages front to back it would just be like hieroglyphics oh fuck that shit and fucking crazy symbols yeah no Dude, i'm just i'm just like, talking about random people have, yeah i'm just talking about random people okay. like go to someone and be like hey you know you think aliens built the pyramids do you think birds are real you know Fl earth's flat i don't think fuck all that. the birds are real oh uh -huh. i think a good way to start a conversation would be with an index card that says that you're deaf <laughs> and then, but ask a specific question and then just see how they fucking, if they just answer you and then you'll be like, 
<laughs> I can't hear you, you know? Oh, I'd be a total That'd dick. That'd be fun. Hey, yeah, if somebody came up to me, like if yeah. you came up to me and said, hey, I'm That's deaf, I'd be. be like, what's up, dude? <laughs> Can you hear me? I'd be a total douchebag. Yeah. That would be cool to hand that card to somebody, and then when they start speaking, then you go... <laughs> yeah holy shit yeah. i can hear Whoa! you uh, yeah. like i can't right. hear anything like else that. in the world but for some yeah. reason i can hear you uh all right next question what sport would be improved if all players had stilts <laughs> all of them all of That's them exactly. i wrote what what one one wouldn't you know it'd be really fun the luge <laughs> the luge <laughs> yeah. with just oh, big sticks hey, the luge out. Would yes. be it'd be be a lot tougher. It would be a lot. Yeah. Tougher. Everything would be a lot tougher. Yeah. Slam ball. Slam ball would be almost impossible. A trampoline on stilts. You're just looking to have your dad yell at you for ripping basketball. The fabric. Would they have to raise the fucking oh, hoop? Yeah, they'd have to. Uh, the first thing that came to my mind that I thought was ridiculous. You're like shooting downwards. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be awesome. It's harder than you think. Yeah. It's like golf only bigger right but like no the thing that immediately popped into my mind was like swimming's out like the pool is mm. like like you're just running in stilts through water nascar <laughs> like fuck you michael phelps <laughs> skydiving skydiving uh, would be interesting it's like I, you have to you when gotta you land, be in you fly can... position out of the plane because you can't stand up to right. jump because oh, the plane's be, not tall enough ooh, that would be tough you'd have to get the stilts out of the door first yeah. <laughs> and just kind of jump out like you're hopping off a ledge imagine or Somebody might have to throw you out. Can you imagine pole vaulting and stilts? How mm, fucked up would that yeah. be? be? I think all of the sports. All, yeah. All of yeah. the sports. The only one that yeah. I don't think would matter would be like darts or some shit. So anyways. All right. Next one. What is the nicest way to ask for sex? M midget wrestling would be great with stilts. Because <laughs> then it would be It'd like be regular wrestling. Size. You just yeah. look like normal people. <laughs> yeah. All right. I am a normal person, you piece of shit. <laughs> no, no, I know. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, not what no, I mean. I mean, like regular. Yeah. <laughs> I'm regular. You know, like. No, come on. Now. Normal. All, All right. right. Next one. What is the nicest way to ask for sex? This just, it makes me think of uh, um, Parks and Rec when John Ralphio's sister, I can't remember her name. Money, please. <laughs> no, would just be like, sex, please. <laughs> that would be how I do it. My first thought was in the, the first Rocky movie where uh, he walks up to Adrian and he's like, I was wondering if uh, you wouldn't mind fucking me too much. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. Right? Did he really say that in the movie? No, he asked her to marry him. Okay, all right. I Same just, thing. I just switched some words. Yeah, oh. switched some words around. And it was really nice. It was a nice moment yeah, when yeah. he asked her. Yeah. Um, Even though she was probably like a little bit autistic and, <laughs> and he totally took advantage of it. Yeah, it's borderline I, creepy when you watch that first one. It's like, dude, she doesn't <laughs> want you to fucking touch her, Rocky. But then they end up married and have a bunch of kids. And so. she dies of cancer later. Um, I <laughs> Wait a spoiler alert. I know. Sorry. That's like Rocky nine. I dude. know. I'm just saying. Uh, this is such, this is so like I think way too much into this, but it's like, you don't want to be the guy that's like, Oh, Pretty please, can I get some pussy? Pretty please with sugar on top <laughs> and a cherry. Pretty, pretty please, you want to suck my dick? No, I, at, at your age, there's probably no cherry anymore. Uh, no, it's not yeah. cherry. Uh, no, I think, dude, flowers, man. Do like do the stuff. But that's not asking flowers for sex. Don't ask for sex unless <laughs> you write it on the card. Roses are red. Violets are blue. <laughs> there's one Come thing. Come my balls. If there's, well, I fuck you. <laughs> if, there's, if there is one thing I've learned being married for almost 10 years, is there is an action language that women speak. And if you do things like that, sex is very okay. easy. And it's a polite way of asking. Okay. It really is. Flowers, then. Let me say. get you to your door. Let me help you. Oh, wait, wait. No, let me clean the house for you without so you're, asking. So you're a wife should be like, well, if he's being nice to me, he just wants to fuck. Kind of. That's pretty much how that works for straight people. I feel like she's probably more like, oh, he's being nice. He's going to get a little reward later. Yeah, maybe. But, but that's I, still I, I don't think she's thinking like, he's just doing this because he loves me and wants but, to put his penis in. But he is. <laughs> but he is. He just submitted it. But that's why anybody does anything. Exactly. Okay. I'm only here on this show in the hopes that a girl's going to see me exactly. and message me and we're going to fall in love and she's going to be my soulmate and she's going to be the perfect height and the perfect weight and she's not going to stink and she's not going to leave the fucking clothes in the washer overnight. Hey, man. So they have that gross smell. In Stinky. that case... I 
I got bad news for you. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's going to happen. My soulmate is out there, and she's watching. She's watching this show. Yeah, she really enjoys it when you're on the show. No, she yeah. just happens to be clicking through. It popped uh, up, and she was in the shower, so she couldn't push the buttons. Yeah. But, and she's but like, now she's like, oh, what is this? Yeah, she's like, oh, my God, that guy looks like Leonardo DiCaprio in Truman. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, next one. Uh, let's see. This is actually from a fan. This is actually from a listener. His name is Lane Baxter. He wants to know, rejected cards or scenarios from the board of life game? The board game life. Oh, yeah. the board game life. Sorry, Lane. Sorry, the my bad. Rejected. Game. Sorry. <laughs> Rege- Boy, I am too high for that verbiage. Uh, you had me all confused. This is actually non-alcoholic I never tequila. really played life well, as a kid. Uh, but I, I give him credit. Lane Baxter wants to know rejected okay. cards scenar- or scenarios <laughs> for the board <laughs> game. <laughs> you all right there, buddy? That's what you get for talking while I'm trying to announce some <coughs> shit. Okay. Rejected cards or scenarios mm. for the board game life. Yeah. Thank but, you. But I never really played it, so I don't know the specifics about it enough. <laughs> Is there get out of jail free? Your your husband decided he's trans. Lose all your children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good one is right there, there. Is there jail in the board game life? Gosh. There is There is if you want there to be because we're making shit up. We're making up. shit up. But is up. there in the original? Like, I don't think so. No. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah. So it, not part of life? I just in know America. that the game piece has like like legitimately it's the car. eight. It's the it car has that has like the, eight things yeah. that you can put new kids in. You, and you want to have kids. I mean, at the end, it pays off yeah. if you have a lot of kids. I don't know why. Why the, did my the family taxes never? are great. Play life with me when I was young. We Maybe played Monopoly. We played Mousetrap, which yeah. really wasn't a game. It was just you set <laughs> yeah, up the right. thing. And, and then you and then you not, watch it. You watch it. Not, yeah. And then your dad's yeah. like, put the goddamn <laughs> shit back in the box. <laughs> that game is actually worth some money now, by the way. I don't have any of them anymore. Uh, I know. I learned cool. how to play backgammon. I know. Does that, Asian lady? No, it was a, a man. Oh, that a, I, Asian man. That I didn't have sex with. It doesn't matter where he was from. <laughs> was he? <laughs> just asking they all know how to play back he was a pacific islander see is that and they, they one taught me too so it's okay uh all right uh i i would say ah oh, damn it you kind of took mine with the whole trans thing i i would <sighs> fuck I, I i would say like your wife is cheating on you with your best friend lose your house and pay <laughs> yeah. child support yeah, and your right. respect for yourself <laughs> yeah. yeah right and you know is that in the game where it's like <clears throat> something terrible happened lose all respect for yourself yeah like that'd be a good one you're oh that's never mind i was gonna say a bad one but i'm not gonna do that uh you become an alcoholic and lose your job that, that would be another one you have I, no children i want to say playing something right now game so life. so <laughs> bad I don't want but to. you won't if you, if i said it you would be so mad dude oh, you would be i, I well, could piss you off so a, bad right that's now a simple decision but i want to say it i won't because I love you and I respect you. There you go. But I want to say something, but How's I'm not going to say it. It hurts. It hurts. I can read his mind. It just fucking kills me. That's all right. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Uh, last question. <laughs> I want to say it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you or not. Okay. Uh, last question. Mm. I'm going to say it. <laughs> I know. When it's not recording anymore. Uh, last question. Superheroes who did not make the cut for Marvel or DC. You got some? Another one. Go for it. That didn't make the cut. It didn't make the cut. There's not a movie about it, which is bullshit, because there's one about an Ant-Man and Beetle right. Boy. I mean, there's everything. Fuck. I don't know what his name would be, but I think a cool superpower would be to be able to identify any smell. Or you could even you could make his power to recreate any smell. Dude, wasn't so that... So you could just uh, fucking poof it what, at what show was that where the detective was just a giant nose? It had to have been in Living Color or something like no, that. No, was it in Living Color? Or Mad, or Mad TV. Might have been Mad it TV. It may have been Mad, yeah. But it was a whole thing. Like I, It was just one little segment, but then they, it was a big, like they did like four or five episodes where that guy was. Just how many the, times are you a, driving? He was and you're just like, a giant nose. What fucking show was that? <laughs> I don't fucking know. All Let's right. ask Chat GPT. <laughs> yeah, Chat GPT <laughs> that, knows. That, perfect. Um, but no, you know what pissed me off about cartoons when we were kids is like if you had like a character in the show, 
uh, superhero or whatever. It didn't matter. But if they had like a job as a dentist, their name was like Miss Dr. Smiles or some bullshit yeah, I like, like that. that. That's it's true. Like, That's slick. What the mm-hmm. fuck are they trying to do? Dr. Overbite. Yeah, that would have been that. Uh, that would have been evil. bad guy. Yeah. That's the villain. <laughs> are you oh, no. About, here comes Dr. Overbite. Yeah. Are you talking about the Ace Ventura Pet Detective animated series? No. It says in that show, his detective rival is a character named Emilio Rodriguez, who is indeed portrayed as a giant nose. Nope, that ain't it. Uh, That isn't the one. How can you say that's not it? Because I never watched that. I never watched that. (laughs) So I can tell you that's not what I'm referring to. No, but I think I think I think my superhero that didn't make the cut is probably like, uh, let's see, I would say like religious man. Or something like that, like where he throws like wooden crosses. Jesus, I, at think you. th- I think you're thinking of Jesus. <laughs> yeah, holy water yeah. and like, like. I think you mean crosses, Jesus. Wooden crosses. Yeah, I think around. you mean Jesus. Yeah, probably Jesus. Mm. <laughs> you know, he's throwing nails at you. He's throwing just fucking nails. I think that'd work. Uh, how about uh, JP? Did you have one? Cerebral palsy, man. Oh fuck! I mean, ouch. Handyman, you remember Handyman? <laughs> handyman, uh, he Handyman, man, man, man. Wasn't yeah. that the right one? That was all that, wasn't it? No, it was. Oh, uh, that's Repair Man, man, yeah. man. That's what uh, was. Handyman was from uh, In Living Color. In Living yeah. Color. Did he, did he masturbate people? Yeah. I mean, he Sometimes. probably did. He was Handyman. You know yeah. what? Who wants a handy? You know what? You know what we need? I, I really think we need this now in today's world. I think we need Fire Marshal Bill. To come out. Let and, me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I just want him to come out and start t- teaching these stupid fucking people about things that they shouldn't do. Okay. That's what I think. Right on. Anyways. I don't think that. Okay, fine. I just want to identify every smell. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. Smell man. I think it might have been the office. No. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. As often as I watch the office. <sighs> Well, Good. did I remember on Double Dare? You're they thinking like Threat pick, Level Midnight? No, 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 no. I'm not nose. thinking Threat Level yeah, Midnight. That was a good Double show. Dare. Oh yeah, the yeah, nose yeah. one. Uh-huh. Oh, God, I was always like, man, I'd hate to do that one. Mm-hmm. Same. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions for us, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram, or you can send them to us now on our uh, Twitter slash X, whatever the fuck it is, which is at L O T Sidelines. Okay, fine, X. It's not like I'm asking for like ecstasy or some shit. <clears throat> but anyways, you can send them to us there at LOT Sidelines. But now we That's get to move on. That's the beauty on. of doing the show with me. You don't have to ask. I just slip it in your drink while you're not looking. Right there. there. Go. I feel Fair. good. Yeah. I feel really good. Absolutely. <laughs> well, ladies and right. gentlemen, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, I did not win last week. Mm, who did? Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked. shocked. I know. Who guess, won last week? Guess who? JP? Derek. Oh. Derek always wins. Derek fucking, and Jeremy. He probably fucking cheated. If Jeremy though. is on the show, Jeremy wins. Jeremy is a cheat code. Nolan Ryan is a cheat code. And if Jeremy or Nolan Ryan are no part of the draft, Derek fucking yeah, wins. Yeah, it's true. That's how it works. Uh, so, uh, what was it last week? Anyways, uh, it was, oh, worst car accessories yeah. coming from a guy who's in the automotive industry. Lost. <laughs> oh, I got so much shit at work. Yeah. I, I thought, <laughs> oh man, I got so, but I, I, but they made good points. They were like, here's the thing. They annoy us cause we're technicians and you see them every single day. So the ones that are really shitty bother us different ways than other people. Yeah, so, sure. so it makes sense. Makes sense. But, anyway. Who said truck nuts? Uh, Derek, that's how he won. And that's how he won. <laughs> that's there, how he yeah. won. <laughs> that would be my first guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was it. Uh, so anyways, uh, since Derek is not here, he forfeits. So that's how that works. Okay. Uh, JP got second place. So JP technically gets the championship picks this week. I get the sandwich pick since I came dead last because, Mike, you weren't here. So you get the uh, you get the head start. You get the first pick this week. And what are we? What's the thing? This week's draft is going to be movie sequels that were better than the original. Okay. Okay. Movie sequels that were better than the original and movie. I, and I get to go first. And you yeah. get to go first. Well, it's, is it obvious to everyone Maybe. what I'm going to pick? I don't know. Godfather 2. Okay. All right. That's okay. I, I, I mean, everybody says that. 
but I'm not a fan of The Godfather, so it's okay. You didn't like any of them? I didn't watch any of them. <laughs> oh. Well, there's a difference between not being a fan and right. just knowing no, nothing yeah. about Not caring enough to watch any of them. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. So you're not a it's fan a pick, yet. Though. It's it a is, great pick. It is. It really is. It's, it's a great a, pick. It's a fan. Well, how do you know that it's a fantastic yeah, pick? Yeah, you You've don't never even seen them. You don't know. I'm saying it's a fantastic pick because I don't give a shit and it doesn't It doesn't trample on the you're list like, that I want. Excellent pick, cool. my friend. It is. It is an okay. excellent, excellent pick great. because right. I am going to go with the only fucking superhero movie that I love, and that is The Dark Knight. Rest in peace. Okay. Yeah. Heath Ledger. You're right. Heath Ledger. You're 100% right. Yeah, The Dark That's Knight. That's a good one, and it was on my list. Uh huh. Have the, you seen somebody did a deep fake of uh, the Joker scenes from The Dark Knight, but they took all the makeup off of Heath Ledger, so it's just Heath Ledger doing no. it? It's, re- uh, it's kind of neat. Cool. That's yeah, cool. It's pretty neat that, to watch. That sounds great. JP, you get two in a row. Okay, let's go with uh, The Empire Strikes Back. Okay, Star Wars. Absolutely, 100% the best one of the bunch. Can I say something about Star Wars? Yeah. Sure, man. Since we're on the subject. Okay, okay so there's Anakin Skywalker, who mm-hmm. later becomes Darth Vader. He's the bad guy. Yeah. Then there's Luke Skywalker. And as a child, they move Luke to some other planet to hide him yeah. from Darth Vader. Right. But they didn't bother to... <laughs> Give him a different last, last name. name. <laughs> That's like, it's like, wait, your name's Dave Hitler. <laughs> like, are you related? To, <laughs> nobody was like, oh, Skywalker, like the worst guy that we all know yeah, exists. That, yeah, I don't know. That just always bothered me. I, okay. No, it's a good point. It's an Could excellent sh- point. Could have easily been Luke Smith. I, I will go, I, I, and there's tons of videos on it. I encourage anybody who likes Star Wars to go and w- search this video out on TikTok or whatever. But did you know all of the Star Wars movies, they're all named incorrectly? Uh, they're tell, all tell named. me why uh, you go and watch the video I'll show it to you after the show but it's legitimate it, it like all of them are the correct names for all of the Star Wars movies but they're on the cor- incorrect movie so the Empire Strikes Back is on a different one of the Star Wars movies. The Phantom Menace is a should different have one. Should have been another one. Man. Yeah. And, and, and it's a good explanation. It actually fucking works and makes a lot of sense. So, it's yeah. kind of like how my first <clears throat> comedy album is called, <laughs> is called Bees Can Taste With Their Feet. But the Bees Can Taste With Their Feet joke is not on that album. That album. It's on go. my second album. There Fair you enough. Go. And the joke is like, can you imagine if you had that? Like you're just walking down the street like, Oh, I just stepped in dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big, people uh, really enjoyed it. I'm sure it did. All right, JP, what's your second pick for the love of God? <laughs> <laughs> you, you are your own hype, man. And I love that it's about you, joke. man. It's a good joke. Just thought I'd tell it real quick. I know it's not, no, it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. But it's semi-related. It's semi-related, and all, it's good enough for me. B-Movie 2 may be his second <clears throat> pick, Jeremy, yeah, it, it, or JP. Uh, JP, what is um, your second pick? Aliens. Yeah, that's a good yep. pick. That is. Yeah, the second one's way better. Yeah. Way better. It's not even close. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. There's my first two. All right. Pretty good. All right. Starting off strong. Okay. I'm going to go with Christmas Vacation. Okay. That's, yeah. That counts as a sequel. Yes. It's good, buddy. Because Vacation is. Was oh, phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Yes, you motherfuckers. You the are. original is so great, it though. It is so good. It's so good. Oh, I, but Christmas Vacation is definitely I agree. the it's best. It's probably the one. Yeah. Way better. Damn, I hate I hate that you got that. Yeah. I hate that I didn't get yes. it. Yeah. I you almost, serious, Clark? I, yeah. <laughs> you couldn't hear a dump truck you driving through a nitro crystalline plant. <laughs> you know what? If it's not too much, Clark. We'd like to get you a little something, too. (laughs) (laughs) After he's bought him all the dog food and fucking (laughs) their kids' Christmas party. You know what, Clark? Pick you out something real Real, nice. Real nice. (laughs) All right. Is it my turn? Mike, you actually get two in a row, dude. Terminator 2. God damn it. That That was was the one I was was coming back to. God damn it. And you get another one. Um, For my next trick... I believe I'm going to pick. I'm trying to decide which one. Which one's going to come back to you is the important thing. No, I'm just thinking that this is a trilogy, or it was at the time. Oh, eh. Which one of the two, or which one of the other two are you going to pick? Yes. I see. I'm going to go with. I know the game. Uh, 
Indiana Jones. Ooh, which one? <sighs> you got no. Come on, dude. You can't do that. I have to go Last Crusade. Thank you. If you would have picked the other one, Temple I, of Doom. Temple of yeah. Doom was they, not was even good, close. But they ate the monkey brains yeah, and the digging into lot, the yeah. into the wall with the bugs and stuff. For for nine year old me, that was a a very exciting movie. The Holy Grail, dude. Yeah, no. Come the fuck on. But I was th- thirteen by then, Ugh. so I was like, I don't fucking want to watch movies. Sad. I just want to go smoke cigarettes you, with my friends. You're a sad, <laughs> sad, strange little man. But I picked it, so it was still. That's it. Was good. Oh, this He's beginning to believe. Oh wait, no. That's is that Indiana Jones and the Matrix? <laughs> I don't oh, know. No. You you must believe, boy. Yeah, that's Indiana Jones. That's Indiana Jones. All right, uh, but that's good. That's very, very, very good. Um, okay, I don't want to be fucking. I don't want to be too cheesy, but this is. This is me being honest, and I know this is going to be a controversial pick. Oh, I can already feel the controversy. I can already, yeah, I can already feel you feeling the controversy. Let's have it. Back to the Future 2. Oh. I think it's better than the original. I don't think I that do. that's correct. I do. I got to say you're wrong. Yeah. Back I agree. to the Future is my next pick. I liked the second one the best. Okay. All right. So That tells me a lot about you as a person. Yeah. And I don't like it. Why don't you, why don't you get the next Karate Kid up there, little buddy? <laughs> yeah, Karate Kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, JP, you get two in a row. Okay. Let's go with uh, Toy Story. Yeah, which Ooh. one? Yeah, what three. number? Three. Toy three's Story three best. was no, pretty it's good. Not. Yep. Seconds better. No, the three. Three's the best. Bullshit. And that's fine. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Whatever. And I am going to go with uh, Austin Powers Gold Member. <laughs> fine. I believe Gold Member was the third, the best one. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Uh, well, hey, that's a good pick. I mean, it's a movie. It is, and it's a great movie. It does it? It. Uh, it's a shit movie, man. It meets all the parameters of this. Of a movie, it's got to be a movie. Yeah. Uh, son of a bitch. I'm not a fan. I mean, I'm not not a fan. Dude, how are you a comedian and you're not a fan of Mike Myers? I am. I'm saying, like, I've watched them all since then. Did you ever they see don't the really Gong Show? Up. Did you see the his I, reboot of the Gong Show? No. Oh, dude, you gotta check that out. He's a whole character, dude. It's amazing. I don't. I'm you fine. Should, okay. I'm fine not knowing it. Yeah, one hundred percent. Oh, but you'll go home and watch Suits. Go fuck, fuck yeah, yourself, I will. Man. That's because Suits is a great fucking TV show, you jackass. So is the Gong Show. No, it's not. All right, I'll watch the Gong Show. Um, okay, I guess <laughs> you're not going to. You just said that, so I shut up, and I love you for it. But <laughs> <laughs> you win. Yeah, uh, I could tell by the way you didn't look me in the eyes when you said it. You see, you looked yeah, me yeah. in the eyes, and then you turned your head and went, "Okay, I'll watch the Gong Show." <laughs> <laughs> Now, that's just my autism. I just don't okay. like looking people in the eye. Good this, is, deal. this is another one that's really, really tough. What? Uh, because of, I guess, <clears throat> how much of a nerd I am about this particular trilogy. Um, the first one was extremely good, but the third one was a culmination of magnificence. And it's, a, uh, it's, it's the Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. All right. I am a total fucking nerd when it comes to that okay, shit. Okay, man. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. So that's sounds like a fucking You sound like nerd. a nerd. I, I really am when it comes to that. I was going to pick that one, but I didn't, want, I didn't want people to think I was a nerd. That's okay. I'm totally fine with being a nerd. I Instead can't of, believe that you would pick a fucking children's book that was made into a movie. <laughs> the ch- the we Lord of the just Rings. With that said... <laughs> Hunger Games catching <laughs> yeah, fire. Yeah, okay. okay. Hunger Games. Better than Mocking Jay? That's tough. I mean, it is tough. Uh, that's pretty tough. <laughs> but still, that second but one was pretty exciting. Yeah. By the time you're in the third one, you're like, hey, we're going to you know, do another yeah. Hunger It's like, really? Another one? So quick, same people. Uh-huh. Uh, but the second one was like the beginning of the of the, yeah. of the resistance. Okay. I got stuff. you. Okay, That's you get one more pick there, Mike. This I is, do. Yeah, this is your My final, final pick. pick. Uh, man, I'm me and JP were talking outside, and we were like, we need to pick things that will make that will have us win, <laughs> not just pick things that we like. And my immediate thought is, I don't know, I really liked that a lot, but 
I don't think it's going to push me over the edge. So what I'm going to say is <laughs> a lie. <clears throat> no, it's not a lie. Endgame. Oh, Avengers Endgame. Avengers Endgame was my favorite of all the Marvel movies. <sighs> okay. That was it was so epic at the time, dude. It was having them all on screen and when he says Avengers assemble and the fucking music It's a great like, pick. I still I I've watched it probably at least 20 times in my life and I get goosebumps at that scene every single time. I know. Okay. I now easily could go back and take one of these off and have and be a lot happier. But I have I have two movies that I watch over and over again and I don't know which one that I like more, but I think um, if you're gonna if you're gonna put me to it, which one I like better? I am. Okay. Ah, no, I can't do that. The one that I think more people will will respect me a little bit more for, I'm gonna go with Lethal Weapon Four. Okay, I liked. Is that I, the one where they broke in and stole the gold? Uh, which was the fourth one? That's Rush Hour 3, too. No, bro. Oh. That's Die Hard that's with a Vengeance. Uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance was my other no. pick. That was my, yeah. that was going to be that one of my picks, too. That was going to be yours, too. God yeah. damn it. We are on the same <laughs> yeah. level. No, Lethal Weapon 4 is the one where they, uh, the, the Japanese guy, or uh, no, Chinese guys come over and they end up um, counterfeiting a shitload of money, money. and stuff uh, like yeah. that. Yeah. And Chris Rock. Chris in Rock's it. in it. Uh, yeah, that's. And they do the laughing they fuck gas. They fuck you. They fuck you with the cell phones. There's a shitload of one-liners in the in that movie. Yeah. And JP, your final pick. Like people my age will like this pick. Jaws 3D. Nope. Oh, Tremors. Oh, Tremors 2? Yep. Yeah. I think the second one's awesome. Does it have Kevin Bacon? Yeah, of course it yes. does. Okay. And then, then I'll allow it. Yeah. Tremors. There's a lot more good movie sequels, <laughs> oh, though. Oh, sure there that are. We oh, didn't get sure. To. Do we want to talk about all I of them? I can't believe you You said Die Hard with a Vengeance. I was thinking Not it, one, two, or three. I mean, this is Die Hard with a Vengeance. Well, three. I guess it is three. Yeah. Oh, Die man. Hard with a Vengeance was the... The best one. Yeah. yeah. I watched it again recently, and... Uh, it's still good. It's as good as it was. I it's, mean, you know. I mean, yeah, it's kind of a... Uh, it's... It, Bruce willis It was the 90s <laughs> movie, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of it course was very, it is. Bruce willis great. The Mission Impossible movies were also good. That's uh, so weird. Okay, which one did you like uh, other than one? Because one was a good movie. I liked the Philip Seymour Hoffman one, whatever one that one was. I don't know. Two. Where he was the bad guy. Was it two? I don't think. I think two was, was an Australian guy, and that's my favorite, the one I liked the most. The, Philip Seymour Hoffman played a fucking badass villain where he was like, I, eh, I don't know. I don't know. It right. doesn't matter. Very well. Mission Impossible. Uh, nobody picked any of the Harry Potters. Yeah, I was thinking I that thought also. About Prisoner of Azkaban. Prisoner, that'd be the best one. The newer Mad Max movie would have been a good one. Yeah. What is it? Something Glory Road? Fury, or, Fury, Fury Road. Fury Road, whatever. Close enough. Um, Fury, Glory. Did nobody pick Star Wars? Yeah, he picked yeah. Empire Strikes Back. Oh, that's right. Okay. Empire Strikes Back is, uh, is arguably the best one, uh, but it's way better than the first one. Okay. It's way better than A New Hope. Don't give me this bullshit about one through nine. We all know that the real ones are right, one and right, two and right. three. Uh, but yeah, Empire Strikes Back, definitely better than A New Hope. One. I personally think Return of the Jedi is, is better. It, well, it, it, yes, for me. That's what you to say. Me, okay, me. that's yeah. cool. You're wrong, but uh, that's fine. You, you're I also, wrong. I also think wrong. Back to the Future 2 is better than one. Again, so. it's fine that you're wrong. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, anything else? Any other ones that you can think of? Blade <sighs> 2. Yeah. 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 Blade See? 3, I think, was. Tr Trinity was fucking awesome. Trinity. Yes, yeah. it was. Oh, the, well, I guess the first think, Matrix was the best Matrix. Yeah, the, that, that was like one of them where like Matrix Reloaded, and I was like, that was shit. Yeah. Short Circuit 2. Oh, That's a good dear one. God. That's a good one. Yes. That, Mr. Johnny 5. Yep. Johnny 5 in the. Uh, and he was using the phone or the tones to find where he was in the freezer. Yeah. Yeah, I that think, was two. Uh, John Wick. Wick was on oh, a whole yeah. bunch I think of lists. The list. third one was like the best out of the bunch I'm, with the knives. Yeah, I'm, I think I liked it the best. I'm waiting for it to come out uh, to where all of them and I can scream, stream all of them. I don't want to sit there and I have you not seen movies. any of them yet. Yeah, not one. Ooh. Not one. Not one. Oh, you're lo you're gonna love them. I know. Yeah. I'm going Great to. Movies. But I want them all to come out. So okay. that's that's my thing. God damn! I feel like there's a whole. Uh, there's a ton. Yeah, major oh, league. A ton. Major, major league. league. Oh yeah. Two. I, I actually. Mighty major. Ducks. Fuck! God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, the second one. No, no, it's not better than the first one. 
It's not better than the first. First one's the best by okay. all, by by far. But anyways, yeah, that is our list of the of the sequels. Oh, are we still going? I thought we oh, were, we're shooting the shit. No, well, like, we kind of we're kind of are shooting the shit. Guardians but. of the Galaxy. Nah, I can't mm. do superhero movies. The, uh, the Born uh, Ultimatum. Yeah, Born or, Supremacy. Or supremacy. Yeah. I would say Supremacy. Oh, the Spider Man movies. Um, what else is here? The, uh, this says The Incredibles two, which I agree I was agree. Yeah, better was, than the first one. That was one. a pretty good one. Yeah, that was a good one. I don't know if it's better though. There's a whole bunch of them like that that. I I just like yeah. I don't know which Harry Potter Sh- I would pick. Though, Sharknado. I, yeah, Sharknado two was pretty goddamn good. I like good. Sharknado six. <laughs> the, Harry Potter, the Prisoner of Azkaban was good, but yeah. so was Goblet of Fire, and the final one was pretty good too. Yeah. I mean, all Deathly of the Harry Hallows Potters are good. Part one or part two? Right. <laughs> we were talking about that outside <laughs> too. I was like, uh, I was like, of all the Marvel movies, Endgame is the only one that ever made me even a drop emotional. Yeah, because uh, because Iron Man dies, but <laughs> every every Harry Potter movie has at least one scene that gets me choked up a little bit. Really, dude, they're so fucking good. I know they're good, but I'm not not choked up. Yeah, well. But that's because I'm dead inside. Yep. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote. Uh, you can also go to uh, Twitter slash X, which is at LOT sidelines and uh, vote for the list that you think has the best list of sequels that are better than the original movie. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by BattlecornCarePackages.com. Their uh, gold tie masquerade is at the end of the month, August 26th. They have met their goal of what they wanted to raise, but do us a favor and go and check them out at BattlecornCarePackages.com. They uh, basically supply care packages to all kinds of children who are going through uh, chemotherapy, things like that, and it's an excellent cause, and we love supporting them whenever we can. And with their gold tie masquerade coming up on the 26th of this month, um, they need all the help they can get. So go check them out at battlecorncarepackages.com. Let them know that we sent you. They will appreciate it and be rather shocked that uh, a bunch of silly comedians uh, actually want to help out with a good cause. So, you know, I think that's a good thing. Uh, but this week, laughing on the sidelines, shitty situation is, would you rather receive a blowjob from an 80-year-old person with no teeth or... Have to do parkour on stilts everywhere you go. Hmm. I guess I'm learning how to parkour <laughs> on stilts. <laughs> parkour. This is going to be painful. I mean, it, it, anything sucks for a week, and then it doesn't. <laughs> oh, I don't know about the 80 year old. It's uh, but I their guess muscles it, are worn out by that point. In is time. it just a single blowjob? Yes, it is. Or parkour forever? Parkour for a oh. month on stilts or an eighty-year-old with no teeth? How tall? One time. How tall? What, is stilts? How tall is the eighty-year-old? Why do you the definition of a stilt? Can I have like <laughs> six-inch stilts? If are you they... fall over, it is. It it's gonna hurt. Well, if I fall over standing <laughs> on the ground, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking five footers. Okay. Five foot stilts. Five foot yeah. stilts. Can I leave them in my car and only have to put them on once I get down the stairs from my third floor apartment? I'm thinking you're driving a, spe- a special car. I mean, they have special cars for all kinds of other, you know, disabilities. I think stilts is your disability. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I mean you're driving from the back seat, dog. I would think you're like Shaq. I'm gonna need you have to have a special. You're like Shaq. You have to have a special. You have to I just get need a, a really long steering wheel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I'm basically yeah, just yeah. sitting in the back of have my you, car. You remember the Beverly Hillbillies fucking yes. car that they drove? Oh yeah. They were way up there. Absolutely. Yeah, that's yeah. what you would drive. You're just driving from the back seat. Yeah. I think it would be. I think the end of that month, I would be like, dude, I have abilities that I didn't even think I ever had. But yeah. I think I would think the same thing after getting an 80-year-old blowjob. I'd be like, I never thought I could do such a thing. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Yeah. And you should be. Yeah. And you should be. The thing is, is that that's like, I think that you know that your grandmother has friends that are that age and you can imagine which one it would be. Oh, no, not a oh, bit. Oh, wow. Oh, man. I, I don't want any of them. No. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> yeah, mm. no, there's not the hottest of my grandma's friends. <laughs> right? <laughs> No, there's not. They're all in the same category. <laughs> that, remind, like, that reminds me of Grandma's boy when they show up at his work. <laughs> yes. And they find out those are his roommates. And everybody's like, holy fuck, you're sick in the head, man. But of the three there's grandmas, one one. there is the hottest okay. one. Exactly. Well, okay. And I don't know how old she so was. So you go, you're going parkour, huh? I would, yeah. I'm going blowjob. I'm going blowjob from that any grandma blow, and blow grandma's boy. Blow job. <laughs> yeah. If I get to pick the grandma. Well, sure. Well, I just thought what it was, it I thought be, a random uh, one showed up, and I was like, all right, let's do this. What if it this. had to be B. Arthur? <laughs> Chester B. Arthur? <laughs> no, B. Arthur uh, from the Golden Chester Girls. Chester B. Arthur. Chester B. Arthur. It's Chester A. Arthur. That's funny, though. Chester B. Arthur. <laughs> 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 to die hard with uh, the vengeance. Nice. <laughs> oh, Look shit. at that call back. I know, right? I get that. <laughs> yeah, I, des- I deserve that's, that. That would be that's a funny <laughs> wrong thing to put in a movie or TV show. I or something. know. It's a Ted Lasso line. Like, what, is what are you, it Chester is? B. Arthur? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Chester A. Arthur. Oh shit, that's not London Bridge. See that one's still up. No, that's, still up. <laughs> that's the shit that makes me giggle. Um, All right, I think I am definitely going. I'm going blowjob, man. Yeah, me I, too, man. It's, it's not close. I I think I agree. You know how shitty that would be for a month on stilts. Yeah, that's it. especially right. five foot tall. I'll be regular size, and that would just be too much of a difference for a short person yeah. like me. As you know? soon as a, a viewer sends me some stilts, I'll start. All they right. won't even send you a dollar. I know. What, they're, they're not going to go you some still stilts? shopping. For, yeah. for what it's worth, content for days on this particular subject. Yeah. Not the first few days. I have to get good at it first. Uh, right. But yeah. I guess that would be a part of the montage. Yeah. Is me right. falling on falling. my ass. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> I Definitely. Think, I mean, we're talking tens of TikTok followers after that particular video. Probably, right. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, I do have an announcement that I do want to make before the end of the episode, and that is that uh, coming up, we also have uh, we have some things that are going on um, that make it really difficult to record on the days we normally do. So uh, we're talking about possibly moving the show to being released on uh, Thursday instead of Wednesday, which kind of sucks. We've been doing it on Wednesday forever. Um, we don't know exactly when, but I know what will be coming up soon to where our, our episodes will start, at least for a little while, be being released on Thursday um so yeah it sucks but that is coming close it won't be this obviously this episode or the next one but pretty quickly it will be um just in order for us to be able to have opportunities to have you know people be on here and me not kill myself staying up till four o'clock in the morning yeah don't so, ki- don't kill yourself no nah, no nah, i'm good man i'm 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 fantastic i got jp to help me out with that stuff that's Magic JP. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we sincerely do appreciate it. You guys are really helping us grow the show, and we cannot thank you enough. And that's why we always like to say, guys, oh, no, before I get off, thank you very much, Mike. Oh, you're welcome. And thank you very much, JP. Thanks, JP. My favorite, no My favorite homosexual I know. Oh, uh, thanks, man. No, JP's the only one I know. Oh. Oh, yeah. But anyway. I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> that's fine. <laughs> no, I haven't uh, decided. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. You should probably make that decision <laughs> sometime soon. Nah. No? Okay. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. We sincerely do appreciate it. Guys, as we always like to say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, uh, we hope you get adopted by a family that takes monetary advantage of your football skills and th- d- pays the other kids a bunch, but not you. <laughs> If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, fuck the metric system. (laughs) Until next time, keep laughing, assholes. Oh, yeah. We will see you later. Take care. Bye.